Like what? What other things is there? Like like a, there's like a gorilla, like no, a wildebeest, no, 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 no. a wildebeest, wildebeest. We got bare hands, bare handed. No, bro. Our punch is gonna do nothing to that wildebeest. Nigga, fuck bro. the punch. We gonna suplex that nigga. What what what's what wildebeest are we suplexing, <laughs> Darius? <laughs> nigga, do this Darius, tactic. Do Darius, this. You gotta me, run. Darius, let, let, let me, at the end of this, at the end of this <laughs> fact, let me let me let me get back in the gym, bro. Before you talk about me suplexing, look, bro, beast. sprint, run, grab neck, sheet. This nigga dares think we superheroes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, low cut, cuz take his knees out. We good now. He, now he had a level. What if he kick you? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you knocked the shit out. God. <laughs> Wait, put, take it out and put it back in. Hey, hey, <laughs> no, yo. Just, pause. Hey, yo. Say something? Yo. All right, now you're good. I, what you told me to say? What? What you told me to do before, though? I just got some love deep inside of me. No, no, not of me. She's not a guy to you. She's not a guy to me. Guy to me. What do you say? Rolly gang, Patty gang, rich baby daddy gang. I was red like a mad at Cincinnati game. Her bitch tied a game. First she tied a name. Don't know what the shit does that. The fuck is that to me? Damn. <laughs> Been that ass over. Let that coochie breathe. <laughs> Shake that ass, bitch. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. What? Hands on your knees. Okay. Shake that ass for Darius. Then shake that ass for me. Who shake your ass? I don't know. Nigga, you good? What happened? Who shake your ass? Who shaking ass? <laughs> I don't know, nigga. Ain't shake your ass on me, nigga. Nah, shake it for you. Then shake oh, it on oh, me. Oh, oh, oh. oh shake it on you. Yeah, oh, shake it. W-I-Q, W-I-Q, yeah, W-I-Q. Yeah, W-I-Q. W-I-Q. Shake that ass for Darius and shake that ass on me. You feel me? Yeah, we got a new member on the pod today. Welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast. Episode number, you don't even know. You're, not, you're new here. 114. Yeah, I'm your know. host, DWK Darius, and I got a special guest here today. It's Jesus. Yeah, it's me, man. I'm coming, I came back from the uh, from the heavens above, and I'm just telling everybody that um, I don't like what's going on down here. You feel me? I'm I like, First of all, you see what Jesus really looked like. Beard, dreads, I ain't none of that white shit that y'all been portraying me as. You feel me? I'm I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm <laughs> I'm not that white shit y'all portraying me as. I got a beard and I got dreads. I got locks. I'm black. I'm not white, bro. Real it's shit, bro. Real shit, bro. So all that white Jesus in y'all churches, get rid of it, cause I'm here, and I'm wearing a beanie and I'm wearing a hoodie for now on, bro. I don't got that. He locked. Breath. He's locked. Yeah, I'm he's locked. locked. I'm locked. locked. He's locked. But I, I'm actually not locked. I did ask. I gotta go. I forgot to put the do not disturb on my phone. You always forget that. Fuck. You always, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't know because I mean, I would know because I'm all powerful, all being. Yeah. I know everything. But I wouldn't know if. Yeah. Exactly. You're new here, Jesus. Yeah. You know um, what I'm saying? But I've been watching you. I've You've been, been watching. watching down on us, and that's mm-hmm. why we're at this point. Exactly. Exactly. But why do you always forget that? I don't know. <laughs> we gotta change right now. But if you can stop real quick. Okay. Is it recording? Thank you, Libby. Back from technical difficulties because Darius keeps forgetting to uh, put his phone on. Do not disturb. Sorry, God. Oh, Jesus. And mm. so, you know, will you repay me for my sins and my mistakes? Um, I'm all I'm all powerful and I'm all forgiving. So, yeah, I will. I will do that for you. Thank you. But um, don't do it again, please. I all right? You know, I, don't know. I, I feel like, you know. Now that I'm back on this earth, that I have a purpose, mm. and it's not to. Uh, th- I said next time I was gonna come, it means that the world's gonna end. But you know, I, it's not. I have a purpose, and I'm gonna. You gonna part- fulfill your purpose? I'm gonna party hard. You know, but like, maybe it's not the world ending, but your world is creating. That's what I'm saying. So like, maybe your old world. Actually, ended. your world as you know is gonna end. Cause I'm changing this whole shit up. What's about to happen? Just from changing this whole shit up, bro. But I tell you, it's not gonna happen. Ah, you feel me? You gotta be shit. surprised. Just know, it's, it's different, bro. I got you. Cause it's no regular. 
<laughs> type shit. Type, type shit. shit. Oh, my saying? fault. Type ish. Type you know ish. Yeah, you can't be cursing in the name of the Lord. Bro. I know, especially when the Lord is in our presence in our right presence. now. Presence. You can't be cursing, bro. Ah, man, I'm sorry, man. You know, it's hard out here. It's hard out here for a pimp. And she gotta mm-hmm. get this money for the rent. Mm-hmm. Do you know how it goes? You know, I know you know how it goes. You know everything. Oh, 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 do I want a revolution? Whoop, whoop. Do you want a revolution? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Look at your boo boo looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we got a special guest over here. Should we bring him on the pod? Yeah, bring your boo boo. Juju, come here. Your boo boo. Juju, come here. Come here, Juju. Come here, No, oh, don't you bring go. the ball. <laughs> you gotta bring the ball. Gotta bring the ball. Come here. Gotta bring the ball. Come here. Come here, motherfucker. <laughs> your boo boo. Jaboo-boo. <laughs> what the fuck? Jaboo-boo, come on. There we go. Get come him. Here. Grab him now. Grab him now. <laughs> hi, guys. This is Juju. Juju, say hi to everybody. <laughs> woof, woof. He looked at you. <laughs> say hi, Juju. All right, get the fuck out. No. No. <laughs> no, no. Now don't come back. Don't come back. Now go he want to come back. No, hell no. Hell no. Yo, this shit itch, bro. Yeah, you, can, you can take it off, bro. <laughs> if y'all didn't know by now, bro, like, I'm Corey. I, I, I don't know. Y'all, y'all, ain't, y'all ain't figure it out by now. Y'all know now this is Corey. You feel me? I grew a beard finally, man. Like, it took some time. And you feel me? I, I, I stayed dedicated to my pills and my oils, and I grew a beard finally. Yo, pills? Blue juice? Type shit. Sorry. Type shit, type shit. Anyway, yeah, my, my beard finally came in, and it's nice, right? I know. Y'all got to tell me my shit. That shit nice, you yeah, feel me? But he did say he wants to shave it for the pod, so... Yeah, so, commercial break. Yeah, so, he, if you see, like, you know, sometimes, you know, I grew a beard, too. Sometimes you get tired of it, but I don't think I'm gonna get tired of it. Jay likes my beard, so... Ooh, man, Damn, that's a quick haircut. You didn't see that shit? That shit was like magic. That's what I'm saying. I shaved mad fast. I'm back, y'all, you feel me? But, it's yeah, just... Jay, Jay liked my beard, so I'm gonna keep my beard. But it must I, be nice. Hey man, I'm that shit itch, bro. What the fuck? What a beer, a beer must be nice, or having a girl must be nice. The beard. Because oh. <laughs> I got a question for you. Ask me. Because I feel like everybody on this pod talked about they women, not they women, shit. but how they would shit be itch, with bro. women. Uh huh. Except you. What that mean? Like we never had therapy with you, bro. Everybody has had oh, their therapy. Oh, we got my therapy session. Let me sit back. Everybody on this pod has had therapy, but you. Everybody had to uh, talk about their shit. Uh huh. You know, had to talk about their problems, whatever. J- Jason especially. Jason, oh Jason, Jason be venting on the pod. Yeah, sometimes you know, sometimes it, it blurts out. But like, you uh-huh. haven't been like, I haven't really gotten to talk to like. We always just talk about like weird shit. We never yeah, talked about like no like weird niggas, like bro. like Some, girls and stuff. Like, ask me a question, bro. What you gotta ask? So it's like, what is the right type of girl for you, bro? The right type of girl for me. We are gonna find a girl for you right here, bro. Man, on the pod. Let me see. What's the right type of girl for? me damn that's a great question man you know like i don't know like are you open to anybody I, i'm open to you gotta be pretty like for me I'm, i like i'm a pretty so uh, what's so so what's that's, that's, that's my eyes though. i gotta think oh pretty. your eyes i gotta think so pretty. no races is nah all right ra- no all races no i mean all races is, 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 be is good, equal okay no, no okay. races off limits maybe Little, let me not. Let me start now. Nah, nah. All races off. Like, no, <laughs> I like I like all races. I just you feel me. It just you can't force that like that shit. I just feel like you feel me like you really can't force that shit. That shit gotta fall in your lap, bro. Not fall in your lap, but what, like like women or the looks. Woman, like feel me, yeah. like you you can't really like you can't look for it. You know. I get what you mean. Like that shit literally gotta just happen so natural. I feel like when you start people start looking for stuff like that. That's when you really be like. That's when you start failing. You like. I get you. So you feel me? That's why I just be you feel me. Just you just chilling. be chilling, going through the wind. Yeah, I be I be just going through the motions. Feel me? Wherever the road take me, I just like I just want to see what is at the end of the road. You feel me? That's, ah. why, that's how that's how I go about my my woman. You feel me? That's good. That's I just, good. Uh, I get on the road. Feel me? I don't even know where I'm going, but but you gonna find eventually. You're gonna eventually I'm gonna find stop. out. Eventually I'm gonna find out. You feel me? <laughs> but when I get on that road, I don't I don't like uh knowing where I'm going. I just wanna. Okay, um, okay, see, okay. See, see where it leads me. You feel that's me? cool. That's cool. All right. So now, because I don't, the people, the, the people here don't really know that 
Me and you was about to be on a double date in the beginning. Oh, me yeah. That's how, that's how it almost started. That's they, how it all started. It's almost started. You know who you are. We're not going to say your name, but you know who you are. It was bad. <laughs> first of all, first of all, let me, let's tell a story, right? So if y'all don't know, you know, I have a girlfriend. You guys know Jay. If you don't know that by now. If you guys you don't watching, know that by you now. You're watching the wrong podcast. They right? might, you know, they might be new. They might be, uh, y'all might they be, might be new. new. You're right. You're right. right. You know, she, I have she a girl. Behind, she behind the stage, behind the uh, scene work Mo- now. Most of the time. She's been on the pod a couple of times, but, you know, she retired, you know. My beautiful girlfriend. We've been here, been together almost five years. You know what I'm this saying? Glorious queen. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny because when we first met, it was it was, she. She, <laughs> she nigga blushing thinking about it. No, bro. no, no, this no, 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 so no. gay, bro. Her, <laughs> <laughs> she followed me and you. She did. She did follow and us Chase. Both. She did follow all three, three of light us. skinned niggas with curly <laughs> hair at the time. She did follow all three of us at bro. the time. <laughs> I'm glad that. she's she's not. Jay's not here right now. <laughs> Libby's by the camera. <laughs> Jay's not here. She's sick. <laughs> so, <laughs> and she so so, but she she wanted me though. But these niggas was like. I don't know what they were, but and anyway, we don't know. We were just what, just in case you didn't DM her first. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, this was a race, but I, nigga, I called dibs oh, in the nigga, locker room. This nigga, this nigga beat us all to it before the before the race started. I told niggas, us, I was like, damn, I'm like, damn, they're gonna see it again. I'm like, oh, she <laughs> followed me on Instagram. Nigga, Corey's like, she followed me too. <laughs> nigga was then, like, what, nigga? <laughs> I was like, nigga, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, so then you know, I'm talking to Jay, whatever, and I'm like, yo, let's go on our fa- first date. You know, she wants to go to Bonchon because that's her favorite. That was her favorite uh, thing at the time because she'd be having phases. So I was, I was going to right, let's go to Bonchon's on first date. She won, but she wanted to go on a double date. She was, Guess she, she, with she who else? She ain't trust this nigga, bro. No, she was nervous. She was and nervous she wanted, and she didn't trust you, nigga. She was nervous. She wanted a two. We would two imagine, men. imagine that's a, is that a canon event? Would that be a canon event? That would have been a canon event. I think so. No, no, or because I forgot. What is the definition of a canon event? Is it, does it have to happen? Uh, does it have to happen? I don't know. I can't remember. I, I always thought, think about it like that. I'm I always thought a canon hard. event was like something that. No, no. I think it is. Like I think it's something it that to happens happen? to every every person. Uh huh. Like because in Spider Man, a canon event was somebody dies in their family. Yeah. So I guess I, I guess it can be a canon event, but I guess it's like it's like a imagine if you did go on that date with us, like how yeah. it different would have been. I don't. I don't think it'd have been. I don't know, bro. Like imagine imagine it was a know. terrible date. Like it was. They, they Damn, just, yo, bro, that's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Oh, what's it called? The butterfly effect. Butterfly. What effect. if what if what if I went on that date, bro? And I made that date so bad for exactly. everybody. Exactly. And like she wouldn't even want to go on another yeah, date. Yeah, maybe with she me. didn't want to go another date with you because I fucked up the date exactly. so bad. Exactly. Damn. That would have been crazy. And you wouldn't even never knew that I just I just fucked up the love of your life. Exactly. That's that shit's crazy. OD. Or what if I was on some bullshit with a friend? And yeah. she like, nah, your man's is a piece of shit. I can't <laughs> fuck with you. Exactly. Yo, bro. that's crazy. You know, funny story, but I'm not gonna happen to Jermaine, bro. What do you mean? With you? you with me, bro. I <laughs> fucked up. I fucked up some shit with Jermaine, bro. What'd you do? I was such a. I mean, feel me. I was like, I was, a, I was being me. I, that's all I gotta say. I was being, <laughs> I was being me. You know how I used uh-huh. to be, bro. Yeah. I, was, I was being me, and Jermaine with the pull up on his on the shorty, right? He's like, feel me. He's spitting game, feel me, and it's working. Yeah. And she think about. She like, hold on, you. You friends with Corey, right? She, she, he like, yeah, that's my man. He said, she's like, fuck that. You, <laughs> she said, you friends with Corey, you must be an asshole too. <laughs> oh my god! And bro. stop talking to the nigga like that. Really? Face. I was like, damn, bro, my bad. <laughs> I didn't mean to wow. do that to you. Wow, nigga, that could have been the love of his life. That's bro. what I'm saying. I might have fucked that up, bro. Oh, he my just texted god. me today too. That's what we. <laughs> Jabubu, what's up? The fuck you doing? Jabubu, what's up, bro? Hey, get back there. Ja boing boing. <laughs> Come here, Ja boing boing. Nigga just creeping. <laughs> I should have brought a bishop. No, nah, it'd, bishop have, it'd have been no more Ja boing boing if I brought a bishop. <laughs> but, yo, I really probably fucked up uh, Jermaine's love of his life, bro. It could have been. Well, how long was this? That was our junior year. Wow. Yeah, so, like, what? That's year. like three. 20, 2019, 2020, around 29, that time. That's like almost four years ago. Yeah. He could have been in a three, four year relationship. And just because I was an asshole too, I, I don't know. Thank who, fucking I don't, God. I don't, I don't know who I was an asshole too, bro, but I was an asshole to somebody. To the wrong person. And she was like, Oh, you friends with Corey? Oh, yeah, you must be an asshole too. And she stopped fucking with the nigga, bro. Thank the heavens. Thank you, God. 
For, for, because imagine, bro. I was like, I was deeding up at the time. I was like, hell no. Yeah, you, no. You didn't want to go in the double. No, I, I, I didn't want to go either. I didn't want to go either. Double dates is trash. Exactly, bro. especially when it's somebody I like. Like, nah. or especially when it's like it'd be different if it's a double date when you t- you already established. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Like double date and in the you, first date, the first date is crazy. Like, exactly. that, I don't really know you like that. I don't even know shorty. You feel me? Exactly. So it's going. It's really going to be a me and you versus me versus me and her. Exactly. Like, or you, or her, or her. Exactly. You See, it was all meant to be, bro. Good thing we ain't do that. Thank bro. God, it would have been thank, so different. Thank me, bro, because I was the one that really ain't want to go for real. You wasn't gonna go regardless. I couldn't. I couldn't go regardless. You feel me? <laughs> Hell no. I couldn't go. That would have been bad. But yeah. So, so basically, so after that story, now I wanted to ask you: Have you ever been on a first date? A first date? Yeah. Yeah, like, I've been on a couple first dates. So yeah. what is the like? What is your go-to first date? My like, first. Option? My. It depends. It depends on what I feel. I feel like sometimes. It depends, like, if I'm in the talking mood. Yeah. If I'm in the talking mood, I'll be like, yo, let's go get something to eat real fast. You feel me? Something calm. We can Is talk. it something where you, like, texting her, like, yo, I'm going to pull up on you right now, or something that you plan ahead? Uh, it depends. I don't, I don't, I, I'm not really a good planner. I'm not going to lie. Oh, really? I'm more of a spontaneous, like, yo. Type of person that's yeah, going let's, now. let's go right now. Like, oh, ah. yo, where you at? Oh, yeah, you feel me? What you doing? Oh, we talking about, oh, you want to do that right now? Oh, all right, pull up. You feel me? I'm more of a, I'm not really a, like, yo, let's go Friday. Like, I'm not really that type of person. Got you, got you. But you feel me? Like, Either that, or like I like I like watching movies, so I'm like let's go to the movies. You feel me? Okay, okay, movies. okay. That's if I don't really want to talk though. I'm not. Nah, gonna I get lie. you. I get you. If I'm not in a talking mood. Like I right, let's shut up. Let's shut up and watch a movie. <laughs> that's cool. That's you cool. Me? me and Jay's first day with the movies. The movies. See, that's probably yeah. the breaking ice. Like I right, feel me. You get to you see how you how how your aura is next to somebody. You feel yeah. Me? You you know how you, you know how you feel when you sit next to somebody. You be and like. Then, like feel me if you if you tensed up while you sit next to somebody you know that ain't it. Yeah. If you lock, if you put them shoulders down you like I right, yeah maybe, like they, maybe, maybe a little cuddling. maybe a little uh a little elbow oh, t- a, little, a little elbow touching at first yeah you feel me? and then you know like and a wrap around yeah then, type then shit. the arm you feel me yeah. then you're like I right, hold on this might be I right. and then feel me if she if you put that arm and then she lean that head this way. Now you know you I right, bet we good. You yeah, feel me? see that's and feel me, if you put that arm and she stay still. Now it's like ah, it's man. awkward. It's awkward because now you gotta slide down. Now you either because because if she stays still, it's not comfortable. She gotta so now you either gotta slide that arm back and yeah. it's awkward to slide that arm back. Mm-hmm. But now you gotta keep that arm there and be uncomfortable. Yeah, so, so you gotta pick your pick your you poison, pick your bro. Poison. So but we, I get you, I get you. But all right, I asked this to Fritz before he asked me. So say a girl. So what is your ideal day like? What is like if a girl say you had a girlfriend, right? Uh huh. And she was like, yo. I wanna I wanna take you on a date. What yeah. is like a great date for you? A great date? Yeah. Shit, let's go paintballing, bro. Paintballing is wild. Let's go paintballing. Let <laughs> paintballing sh- lit though, but you know what I'm saying. Let like, me protect you, type shit. Nah, let me oh, see, let me let shoot me, you. Let me see how you is with this steel. Bro. Oh, like, let me see. If we in a if we in a situation, <laughs> if we in a jammy jam, bro. If, if you got in the, a jammy jam, let me see how you gonna how you gonna shit. react, bro. Real shit. You feel me? Real shit. Let me see if if a nigga shooting at me, you gonna what you gonna do, bro? So are you into more of like girls that are like, like the athletic type? I'd say so. Probably not. Not really athletic type. Like, do they need to be athletic? Like, nah, I don't need. To, I this thing said you fuck. <laughs> yeah, you got it's not athletic. Not athletic. I'm mean, like, feel me? They, they gotta, gotta be, be in, in shape, kinda in shape ish. Yeah, yeah, me? I get you. Or like, feel but what me, if they're like, like, like a like a the type of that don't like doing exercise? No exercise, like. Like no, she's not. She's not big, but she's like one of them little girls that's like, oh, oh ew. That's, that's all right. She's all right. That's ew, all right. exercise. Ew, like, activities. Yeah, she just gotta know. Like eventually, you feel me? Yeah. Eventually, you gotta. We ain't, let... we ain't body shaming over here. It's just no, she's thing. not big though. Just my, I'm just saying, you feel me? You want some? Get, like girl. she don't like sweat. She like them little girly girls. That's I was in gym right. class. That's, I that's don't like fine. sweat. You, you cool with that? Stay in shape though. <laughs> <laughs> just watch sure. Better watch what you eat. Though, okay, you okay, okay, okay. You feel me? Feel me? Like. I ain't body shaming, it's not my cup of tea. All right, all right, all right. So, how many? So, say, right? Gotta be hella thick, though. What are you doing? Let me stop. All right, so say, right? You've been talking to this girl. How many dates or how long would it be till you ask her to be your girlfriend? Nah, I, I, I don't even think that's a number. You just got It depends on like how the person how is. How the person so is. So, how, how do they feel? have to act? Like I don't like that's a is it like a like a it's all you type of thing or nah, is it, like it got it got first of all it got to be mutual bro like feel me first obviously it's, it starts off with me because like like I said it got to be mutual because like I could feel a certain way she might not feel that way you yeah feel yeah me? yeah well I she could feel a certain way and I might not be there yet you feel me mm-hmm. but as 
it like you you know, bro. Yeah. You know. Like I say like probably like three first three, four months of talking to somebody, maybe even less, you know what you really want to do with that person. You yeah, know? but you, you don't think three, four months is a long time, bro? Because you got to think about it, right? I don't know. Think about it, right? Say you say you both are feeling each other, whatever. This is not yeah. third. It's been a month already. Uh-huh. And there's nothing. It's just you guys have been doing it. Like, eventually, it's going to... You that's should what, know by then. If you've been spending a lot of time... Like, you should know, like, what your attentions is, at yeah. least. Like, I, I, I could potentially see her being my shorty. Yeah. Or, like, all right, this, this is fun, but, like, I don't really see this last thing. Because what me? I feel like is though niggas and maybe women do is that they wait too long. Yeah, they we wait do. till like you know we do like three four months and they just still been talking. They've yeah, been, but they've been that, the mutual is there. Like they said, now we and now we just stagnant right now. It's yeah, just the same like feel me. If you would, I feel and like, forth. and I feel like at with the the no um title with it mm-hmm. error like that that little level, it's like anything's go anything goes like you could tell them like oh yeah like especially like say you both like make a agreement like yo we're not talking to nobody I'm just talking to you. Uh huh. That should be. I feel like if you ask you to be your girlfriend, that ups a level and it they like do. it cleans the slate. It do, and now you're on to like new things, and then you got new. You're just going up, and now they you got do, new challenges because it's other. Cause it's, it's like sh- excitement. It's shit you really can't get mad at when it's not your girl. Exactly, it's shit like you. It's shit you gotta really. You gotta hold back some shit, even if you, let's say you really like the shorty, right? Yeah, you can't really do what you want. Like yeah. you can, but then like. If it ain't, God damn these lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, we got oh, good shit. We got some we got some new shit, you feel me? <laughs> we upgraded, you feel me? No regulars upgrading the shit. Got my eyes watering and glistening and shit. <laughs> anyway, mm-hmm. hey, it's it's shit that you like, feel me? Like, let's say like and I don't even know, cause like you can still get a girl flowers without like yeah. it being your girl. You can give them flowers. But like, feel me, what if you hit what if you hit the I love you too fast? You feel me? Like that's crazy. That, that might throw some people off. I, I like. Yeah. I keep it like. Damn, I don't really want. She ain't gonna watch it. Still matter. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was talking to this one girl one time, right? Yeah. <laughs> and she brought me like gifts too fast. Really and it turned me off. Like what you mean? What she buy like, you? She bought me like four hundred dollars worth of shit, bro. Ah. Uh, and it was we, like we was talking for like three weeks, ah, like, uh, like, like maybe you. less, and it, and it threw you. me off. So bro. you feel like it was, and it wasn't like it wasn't my birthday, it wasn't Christmas, it was just a random like hey, gesture, was, yeah, random gesture, but it was expensive you. though. And that's some people love like, like some people, some people love that way. Yeah, but that just threw me off because it was like, damn, like I, I, get what I don't, you, you mean. don't even know me yet, bro. I get what you mean. <laughs> it's like. You know, you got to think. I feel like for niggas, right? Yo, don't be in here talking. I'm talking, bro. Don't be disrespectful, bro. What you doing, bro? Jabubu, don't be disrespectful, you want, bro. You want to talk about women, you bro? You talking, bro. So, I feel like, right? Oh, he's cute. Yeah, he's a little adorable. <laughs> so, I feel like, right? Look at this with, at that point, I feel like that would turn some people off. That's why you mm-hmm. got... It's, it's all about timing, bro. Yeah. Everybody got their person. Everybody got their own shit. Everybody got, like, stuff that you have to deal with. But it's all about timing. Like, you can't just... Go willy nilly in on uh-huh. a girl. That's why with me, I'm I be wilding, bro. Like with like with Jay, but like, that's your girlfriend. No, though. no, I'm not. I'm not saying right now, but I'm saying in the beginning. Uh huh. Like you know, like she could have been dubbed me. She could have been lying to me this whole time. Is that yeah. there? But you know, I just knew that she is. She was your. That, she was that's me. different though. Yeah, you knew that was the one. But for you, she though. could also have been not. You right what though. She said she but, was. But you knew in your head. Like it's different though, because you in your head, you was like, I. Right, I know this is the one for me. But sometimes I could be I'm gonna, Delulu. I'm, I'm, you could be Delulu, but if you, if in your head, like especially when you're talking to somebody and you feel like, cause it, it, if it's if it's a little one sided, like not one sided, but like you know, like I'm like bet this is this is the shorty for me, and feel me like you gotta be you gotta be the aggressor then in that yeah. case. You know that's like you know in your head like I right, bet hold on, I f- I think this is the one. Mm-hmm. And feel me, and, and but y'all on the cusp of just talking still. Yeah, yeah. It's your job to be the aggressor if you know. Feel me, and then if if you if you if you push too hard and she not feeling, then mm-hmm. that's time to. I right, hold on, let me put, pull the reins. See, with me, right when for me and Jay when we was talking, it was like when I felt that it was like we she was on board too. I asked the question immediately. Uh huh. I didn't like because I feel like with niggas they just think like. Oh, like we don't gotta have the title, but I just want you, like you, my girl and shit. And yeah. they don't want to ask, like, be a girl. I feel like niggas don't even ask niggas to be girlfriends no more. I, I, I you know I mean, what I'm I saying? Never asked it, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's like once I feel like we're so, at bro. that level or at that stage where I feel like you're 
with me, and I know like we're both on the same page, mm-hmm. I'm gonna ask that question like, oh, you want to be a girl? Like, like let's be boyfriend and girlfriend. That's yeah. what that's what happened. Like it was like I think I asked it maybe like a month in. A month? Yeah, it was like a month in. But you like ah, but you. Oh, he he knocked the shit out. God damn it! Oh man. no, you go, you go. All right, Chabubu. If you don't say my oh no, he he's he's talking. He's keep talking the shit out. You have to unplug it, plug it back in. You doing too much, bro. Fucking Jabubu. <laughs> Yo. Say it again. Yo. Yeah, you go, you go. Nah, say your ass over there now, bro. <laughs> so it's like I feel like there, there's like me, and plus she was like she was over, she was away in Baltimore, or whatever. Uh-huh. So she was, we was doing long distance. Yeah. My first relationship was gonna be long distance. Was long distance. Uh huh. And but if y'all felt that like, but you knew though, if y'all felt that yeah, way, yeah, long yeah. distance, you're like, I right, bet this is long distance. Is how mm-hmm. I feel that way. That's what me? I'm saying. But I also don't think you really know somebody till you move in with them, though. Oh yeah, no, I, I feel as though too. I feel like, like I feel like eventually, me and Jay, I feel like we're getting in that stage where like eventually, like, when I graduate, I'm gonna find a job and then we're gonna have to move out, move into together. But like my mom always told me, like she always wanted me to like live by myself first, just so I know how things are, yeah. because that's she always told me. She was always like, I wish I would like live by myself first before moving in with your father. Not just because I don't like like your father, it's just because like mm-hmm. you have to learn basic life needs yeah. and shit. Mm-hmm. And like Jay lived by herself, like yeah. when she was on campus. Like you lived by yourself when you was on campus. Yeah. I never li- did that. Uh huh. So like I don't know. I always had somebody to. Like, you know, help me out with my laundry, whatever, or, like, clean up after me. And it's, like, it's never had to be me. So, like, I don't know how I would be. Yeah. So, that's, like, a, something fine. But I feel like with me and Jay, like, when we move out eventually, I think it's going to be straight. I think we, like, do you believe in, like, setting roles for each person? Like, as the man in the house, you got to. No, I don't know. Yeah, I don't feel like, I feel like that's, like. I don't know, bro. That shit's so old. 60s, bro. Yeah, I feel like. Like. Whatever it is, say she, say she not feeling it one day. I ain't gonna be like, yo, why aren't you uh, doing the dishes? Whatever, I'll do yeah, the dishes. Yeah, no, do the fucking dishes. Yeah, yeah like, like whoever. First of all, like nigga, whoever see the dishes first, just do it. Yeah, my dad gonna watch this and laugh though, cause nah, cause you do, I, don't do nah, I don't do dishes either. I don't do dishes, the I don't crib, do dishes either. If you like for me living with your shorty, bro, I'm like be mad as fuck. it shouldn't be obligated. Like, all right, no, babe, why you do the dishes, bro? Like, or if y'all do a deal, like, all right, bro, whoever cook do the dishes, bro. Exactly. Nigga, learn so, how to cook, bro. Why you? Why is she doing all the cooking, bro? Cook too. Exactly. Like, I feel like you everybody. It should sometimes. be. It should be equal. Like you guys should be able to do everything, in a certain way. You know what I'm saying? No, like, I do. Would agree. So I feel like cause I was. I was saying that the other day, but yeah, like back with the relation. I feel like niggas just aren't asking them niggas to, people to be the girlfriend. So so somebody asked for some advice, uh-huh. right? So fellas, fellas, ladies. For some advice for the no regulars. Yeah. I'm not saying there's, I feel like in, in a world, there's no such thing as a simp unless the person does not feel the same way towards you. I agree. That is a simp. I agree. If you guys are both feeling the same way towards each other, but I don't know, there'd be people that'd be afraid to jump, jump the broom, jump the ship uh-huh. and commit to it. Don't know why, but I feel like if you just, just commit to it, you're going to save yourself from a whole lot more troubles. Because imagine, right? Imagine you guys start talking in March. Start mm-hmm. t- it's all good. March, April, this, that, and third. Bet. All right. We've been, we're basically boyfriend and girlfriend, but we haven't made that our title. Yeah. Then she starts going out with her friends. Starts doing all this shit. Whatever. Starts hanging out, this, that, third. Start, not, maybe not go out with friends, but just starts like, you know, doing all this shit. Because it's summertime, whatever. Yeah. Wants to be without the girls. You guys want to be out with the guys. Some shit happens. And it's like... You get mad at her, but she looks at you like we're why, not together. Yeah, why? Yeah, you're gonna be mad. Exactly, you're gonna be mad as hell. Yeah, but you can't though. Exactly, but you can't be mad. But that's the thing. I think like even in the talking stage though, it should be it should always be boundaries though. Oh yeah, no, there should you be should boundaries. O- you should talk about your boundaries. Like I bet, I bet we're talking. That's what, this is where we are. We trying to build this, or are we just you feel yeah. me? So that's also like a lot of things. Niggas like girls too. Boys do not. We 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 both genders do it. Or all gingers, gingers do. <laughs> we, they all do. It's like, we don't commute. Like, people don't communicate like how yeah. they should no more, bro. Or I don't know if they ever did, bro. But people don't communicate like how they do. We'll just, like I said, go with the flow without talking about it, though. Yeah, like, really? I, I'm, I'm that type of person. I don't really... I, because you know me, I don't really but like... Then it, but then, and, and that's where <laughs> open communication comes in. What is like, I, if I don't talk about it with you, and you do something I don't like, I can't get mad at you. Yeah, 
You feel me? No I, if I didn't talk to you about, yeah, I don't like you going out with your friends and, and wearing that little ass skirt, I didn't say that to you. I can't just assume. You can't just assume that I didn't like you wearing that little ass skirt. I didn't like you wearing the the shirt with the, that showed your nipple rings. I I can't. You can't I, say I can't, much. I can't assume. You can't assume that I didn't like that shit. So if you do it and I didn't, I never addressed it. Then I can't get mad at you for that. Bro, now sure. if you do it and I be like, I right, I'm not gonna lie. Like feel me, I ain't mad, but I did. Like I don't really, I don't really like that. You feel me? That's like like I said, communication. Yeah. Some uh, uh, some people go like, oh, hold on. You wore that, I can't fuck with you no more. I I, I ain't fucking with you right yeah, now. Yeah, like you wore that shirt, I don't like. Mm-hmm, they get and mad. Meanwhile, I never told you. Never, we never spoke about this shirt. Mm-hmm. You never said. You never said. You know, like when my nipples was in out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of what I realize is a lot of like growth in relationships. That it's like you know, there's gonna be the best days, and there, there won't be a lot of good days. There won't be. Every day is not the best day. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You that's know, a, that's the beauty of life. Every day is not gonna be a good day. But you gotta. If that's exactly, but it's like it has to be like that yeah. because if every day is the same day, it's like, what's the point? Exactly, you know what, what I'm you looking for type shit. So, hey man, I hope y'all learned something today on this podcast. About so, women. I got a question though. So, what is like in your opinion? So, love is unconditional, yeah. So, no matter what, like, love, like, true, like, real love is unconditional. What I, all right, what I've learned is there, love is unconditional because I feel like love is a choice. Uh-huh. Because I say love is a choice because I never realized this earlier. Because everybody knows love. Like, oh, love at first sight. You love this person. This, that, and third. You love being around them because they match everything. Now you fall in love with them. All right. That's the beginning stages. Yeah. But then once you start realizing, like, uh, there's always going to be something you don't like. Uh-huh. And it's going to keep, it's going to come out. And it's going to make, you're really not going to like it. But are you going to now question your love or are you going to choose to continue to love this person even though she's not having a good day and she's arguing with you all this and that are you going to continue to choose to stay the same and treat her the same way just because she's having a bad day or just because she's angry at you whatever are you good are you going to not do that because it's not what you thought it was Uh you know what i'm saying that's why i say love is a choice because and i think i don't know if i explained that to you or you jay but it's like when you, especially when you get to where either me and Jay are, where me and Fritz are, it's like we've been together for so long, and like there's things that she don't like about me, there's things I don't like about her. Uh-huh. But at the end of the day, we both choose to love each other regardless because yeah. of what we've created and built, and what we see for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like there's gonna, of course, there's gonna be bad days, but I'm still gonna choose to love you on those bad days. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So like, cause now I got another question. You made me think of another question. So yeah. you was like. It's shit that you don't like about her, and it's shit stuff you don't like about her. So, in terms of flaws, right? Whose yeah. job is it to fix the like or <laughs> fix the flaws, or like, I right, I see you don't like this. I'm gonna I'm gonna compromise and fix this flaw, or like, or is it who, or is it like, I right, this is who I am. Deal with it. Like, who job is that? Like, who who like what determines that? See, <clears throat> I don't think you could fix anybody. To be honest, you know you what I'm can't. Saying? I, I agree. <clears throat> but let's say like, I right, for example, right? Let's say. I don't know. Like, 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 for example, like <laughs> what I was going to say is I heard, I learned, I heard somebody, I'd be seeing a lot of shit on TikTok. He was saying that in order, you have to love them broken. Yeah. No matter what, like you can't like, fi- you can't fix a person. So whatever mm-hmm. it is you don't like, and they want it like, that is their choice that they want to do that. Uh-huh. So you just got to love them for all. You got to love, love them for their, for their, for their beauty and their flaws. You gotta, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You got to love right. them the thing. And it's like, like un- unconditional love. I didn't know what, I never knew what loving someone unconditionally meant mm-hmm. until like me and Jay start going out. So it's like, so if y'all don't know, unconditional love is basically loving them regardless, whatever. Like a dog would love you no matter if you whip the dog. If if somebody break into the house, the dog is still gonna ride with you. Like unconditional, love, like it's unconditional no matter what it what what we go through, what happens. And it, I'm gonna st- be still you feel me. And it's also right. What you also start to learn in a relationship is that there's a stage where it's like. I do this for you. You expect something to do that for you. Expect that to be done back to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes most of the time it won't be like that because mm-hmm. I am loving you under no condition. Yeah. So, so you could do, you don't have to do nothing for me. I'm still going to love you and treat you this way because that's, because what I, that's, that's, what, how, that's my choice. That is my choice. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yep. Like, I don't need you to do what I do. I don't need you to pay for dinner days for me all the time. I don't need you to, do this, that for, for do what do what I do for me. Yeah, but I am gonna continue to do what I do because I love you, mm-hmm. and it's like I don't expect that back. 
If it happens bad, that's great. That's why I had to realize early. Like I, in the beginning, I used to get you know I used to get mad because I used to be like, oh, I used to think I'd do things and I would expect and you, that and in return. Doing too, you know, he was doing too much. Like damn, like. Yeah. I just pay for dinner five times in a row. Not even pay. I'm, I'm just yeah, giving an example. Like, damn, yeah. I just pay for dinner five times in a row. You think she'll pay for the six? Like, or like, yeah. or like, damn, like, I asked to go out four times in a row. Damn, she ain't asked to come out, go out like once. I, how yeah. come every time I gotta ask? But sometimes it's like, yo, that's not, you feel me? That's, that's not, not that's not who I am, bro. That's like, not how it, exactly. So it's like, I always thought, like, I always felt like I, some things I would do because I want that in return. Uh-huh. But I had to realize, like, nah, I'm doing, like, I'm doing this because I love, I love her. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I want to do this for her. And it's not like I don't expect her to do it back. Sometimes there'd be some days like, be like, dang, like, you know, I wish, but like, it, it don't matter. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. It'd be nice, but it'd be like, nice, but that's, you know, not like, that's not what I'm. That's not why I'm doing it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And that's what people really don't. I never really understood what unconditional love was for real until like I explained it like that. Uh huh. That's some real shit, bro. Because like a lot of people, that's why. I, that's why I realized like. It's like it's hard for some people to be together for so, such a long time mm-hmm. because a lot of people you gotta put your pride aside a lot. Yeah, and you definitely like when it definitely comes down to like <laughs> someone else's uh, personality, person that like dealing with another person. Yeah, you definitely like it's because it's, it's a lot of pride, it's a lot of ego. If you yeah. if you go into that with a lot of ego, a lot of pride, you always a lot of stubbornness. Yeah, you're always gonna butt heads with a person. Mm-hmm. You feel me? If you don't, if you can't put your pride aside. You feel me? It, it's gonna take a non-prideful person yeah. to make that work. But if you're dealing with another person that has pride and has ego, mm-hmm. ego, it's never gonna work. Because yeah. you're always gonna be button heads. That's real shit, bro. It's real shit. Like it's really, it is. It's it's all at the end of the day. It's like a compromise or like you gotta work together. You're you were put on this earth. You guys were taught. You both were put on this earth differently. You guys were both taught different things. You're not gonna agree on everything. You can't. Force her to understand what you're going through. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. can't force her to understand what you're talking about. She can't force you to understand what she's talking about. Mm-hmm. There'd be times where I'd be saying stuff to Jay. She don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Like, she don't understand. But that's just, like, how it is. Because, like, or, like, I'll do certain things. She'll look at me like, why the fuck you do it like that? Yeah. But it's just, like, I was brought up differently than her. And it's just, like, it's something new to her. And, like, we're both learning, like, we can't get, like, mad at because we just don't understand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... That's that's the really the beauty of love, bro. It's really really growth is a real good so thing. So what is love in your in your opinion? Like what is love then? I just feel like love at first is when you are very fond of a person and you're really like like head over heels for them because of the person that they're portraying to you in the beginning. But then I feel like at the end of the day it, love is still a choice. Yeah. Because you could choose <clears throat> you could choose to love that person, but at the end, it got to be going both ways, uh-huh. cause you could choose to love a person, but that don't person don't have to love you back. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like at the end of the day, it's up to who, it's up to both of you guys. Yeah. Love is only is a two way street. It's not one way, cause mm-hmm. if it's one way, you're gonna look like a simp, or it's gonna be doing too much for everybody. Hey, get back, Jabobo, get up here. Oh, unplug your mic real quick. I think you should. Unplug my shit again. Yo, get your ass in the cage, bro. <laughs> Like damn, bro. Hey, get, get on the bed. bed, bro. Get on the bed. On the bed. Or get in here. No, nah, don't go in the cage, bro. Don't go in the cage. Yeah. Stay up. Sit there. your ass over there, bro. But yeah, so I feel like love at the end of the day, love is a choice. Basically. I agree. Yeah, I just feel like you choose to love somebody. <laughs> Fucking, I choose to love this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Sit the fuck down. God damn. He's cute. How you can say that at him, bro? He's mad cute. <laughs> I know he is. But he just, he be doing mid sometimes. But that was a good segment, bro. I like that. That was a good talk. I'm glad we got to talk about that, bro. That's good shit. Yeah. Nigga didn't want to talk about that shit in the car, bro. He was in the car the whole time. He <laughs> went to talk, he didn't want to ask me that shit. <laughs> no, I, I didn't know. I didn't know all this shit was going to come out. I was just going to I was just want to know your girl take. I was just trying to get you a girl from this motherfucker. No, nah, you, you heard him, bro. I'm just, feel me? He loves on. white people. No. <laughs> Call that nigga. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, wait, did you rewind the tape earlier? <laughs> he said, <laughs> <laughs> "No but, pilgrims, please." No pilgrims is crazy. <laughs> no but pilgrims. I got another thing we could talk about. Will Smith, what is going on? Oh my god! What is he eating? He's oh. licking you, bro. Oh no, he's just eating my my jaw string. Pause. Oh. That was wild. Yeah, hey, yo, you need some time with the dog, bro. No, me, no, no. Me and Livy will leave nah, for, for however long you need us to leave. No, Juju. But, yo, 
It's OD. Will Smith is out, bro. I don't. First of all, I don't believe it, bro. You don't think so? This yo. <laughs> Why would anybody just lie about that? Why do you say it like that, though? <laughs> you want to explain the story? Or you want me? This to This nigga said the do some random. I think I Will think he was Smith, his manager, a, a assistant or a manager. And he said he walked into a room and seen Dwayne Martin standing behind Will, Will Smith. Smith bent over, and he quote unquote said he was killing him, killing him, killing him. Nigga, what, bro? That's OD. <laughs> what, bro? Killing him. He was OD. killing him. Killing him is OD. That's crazy. Like, wor- like, why'd you say it like that, bro? That was. Oh, he needs some dental work done. Oh yeah, bro. no, he got bad teeth. Need some dental work done, buddy. I got, I got to choose for him. But nah, yeah, yeah, okay. So imagine you walking on that, on on that shit, bro. Like a rent, like a random, like or like nah, somebody crazy. Nah, because what what I also heard was. I heard Jada don't fuck with Will because it's meat little. Because it's meat little? Yeah. Then the Fresh Prince got a little schmeedy? They say he got a little schmeedy. He got a smir- smirtle? They was, and like he was saying in the interview, he was like, bro, if she used to baby legs, like a little baby pinky not going, like she not going to respect the nigga with the baby pinky if she all she had was baby legs. Uh-huh. Damn, she had a... So that, that's why, he said that's why she be acting like this. And then that's when he said he why walked in... Why she have in. kids with him? No, that's... That's little kids. I don't know if this is true or not, but this now, shit is now wild. Will Smith bro. gotta post a dick pic, bro. Nah, that's wow. No, world, no, bro. no, 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 no. He need to pull a Pierre, bro. Drop the iPad pic, bro. What the fuck does <laughs> nigga just outed <laughs> motherfuckers, bro? <laughs> Niggas is crazy. Drop the iPad I don't even want to ask, bro. But uh, did you so but that makes yo, I mean, I hope it don't make sense. I don't believe it, first of all. He ain't seen. He ain't seen Dwayne. Why Dwayne Martin out of all people? But everybody, too, I be bro. seeing in the comments. They were saying, "Bro, I knew it." Like, can you, niggas just be saying shit, bro. bro niggas be saying can P. Diddy because he, he, P. Diddy might be, bro. You seen that video? He was on the interview with somebody. He was like, "Yeah, I like it when you screaming and squirming for me, daddy." <laughs> you didn't see that video? That? No. He was with Fab, Jada Kiss, uh, Mace. He was with hella rappers, bro. And like somebody was pouring him liquor. And he was like, oh, yeah, I like that, daddy. I like it when you're squirming and screaming for me, daddy. And Fab and Jadakiss was like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> and then 50 Cent out of him, too, saying that they went to a, a party or some shit. And, like, like P. Diddy parties are just wildly gay. Like, it just, it's That's just, why I heard. Like, niggas, like, you ever seen the niggas in the bar? It was like the barbershop talks. And the niggas talking about, like, all the celebrity parties be some yeah, mookie shit. Yeah, um, some mookie shit. They said, they said the uh, the shit little baby. What's that all white party little baby and all them what, too? Is that the one when James Harden walked out? I don't, yo, it, it was all wearing white. But I don't know why every pe- every picture was zesty, bro. Every picture at that party was just a little zesty, bro. I don't know. Like, James Harden and Lil Baby walked out like they just did some shit. <laughs> hey, so I don't know. Oh, no. You seen that? They said, I mean, the video, I, I'm, I'm, I hope the, I, didn't, I didn't watch the video. Yeah. But I hope the video was fake. It was like it was a video of Lil Baby uh, giving some dude some, some good time. No. I didn't see the video, but I heard it was fake, though. But I didn't, I, nah, I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't, I didn't don't know, bro. Shit. All right. I'm going to say. Wait. Think about it, though. Go ahead. Think about this, right? August Alcina is gay now. Is he really? Yeah, bro. He, Since when? He came out with a boyfriend. Like when? Early this year, bro. Really? And if you look at his Instagram and his Twitter now, he do like makeup, I think, or like skincare. But like, it's like very flamboyant. Really? And like, he came out and he was like, yeah, like he was talking about love and he was like, had the experience with new love is and feel me, I had the and brought out a nigga and was like, this is my like. I didn't know that. You feel me? All because I seen is gay. Yo, from what I'm a, from what I see, like I like he's gay. That's from wild. what I see. There's no so, problem with, with gay people. There's, there's no nothing problem. wrong with but, it, but we just like just to think about it though. All because I seen is gay now. Niggas are saying Will Smith is gay. What do you think him and Jada and, and August was doing? Oh nah, entanglement, bro. Oh nah, they was entangled. Oh, they was all of them. They all entang- three was entangled. Entangled, bro. Nah. Look, it was entangled. That's how they was looking. Show that shit to the camera, bro. It was bro. entangled, bro. Bro. All right. I'm going to say this, but I might cut this out because it's wild. <laughs> but, all right. So, we're just going to... We have to start putting the buttons on our lap. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, we're going to just make this pause. All right. If y'all hear this, it wasn't that bad. If not, type shit. So, my whole thing in my mind, right, with the LGBTQ community, uh-huh. I love, we all love all, there's no hate to none of y'all, I don't, like, I don't hate none of y'all, we support, I support all y'all, 
Shout out to my nigga Ash. Type shit. You are. But in my head, I be thinking, right? Like the person, the people that start, I feel like the celebrities started the whole thing. The because LGBTQ? they because they was all on the down low. Uh-huh. And if they would before the LGBTQ, if they would have went out, they would have got like shunned or they would have looked at they would got looked at mad differently. Yeah. But now the LGBTQ is up, they're it's, funding it's o- it. It's open now. It's open now. It's like if they come out as gay, they're not gonna be like they're just gonna be like, oh, okay, they're gonna be welcome. They're not gonna be like because if you get yeah. if you cancel that, you're gonna get canceled if you say yeah, something. Yeah, now you can't you can't really you can't really shun nobody for being gay. Now. That's what I'm saying. So like yeah. I feel like the they was like P Diddy, like all the powerful niggas is uh-huh. like Mookie on the low, and they're funding the L- they're pushing they're the pushing movement. it and making everything like cancel worthy. Uh-huh. So like when they come out eventually, yeah, it'll be all right. it'll be like normal, like nothing yo, happened. Hold on, what's going on with the white bro? That's what I'm saying, bro. What's going on? Like what's it's going like on it's just with happening. The white bro, did you did you did you read this? Did you yes, read this I shit? did, I did. Me and Fritz are talking about it. Shit's od. That man, he then, then, held them down, the bro. The nigga held them down. And, uh, well, allegedly. Allegedly. He's allegedly. And he held them down and, and, and forcefully sucked his cock, bro. Yeah. Nigga is 6'11", bro. 6'11", <laughs> 250. <laughs> That's OD, that bro. That is scary. And then... What and, do you... you can't, I can't do nothing about that. The Howard not forcing me down, bro. Oh, no. He not forcing me <laughs> down, but you know, he going to force you down. <laughs> he ain't doing shit Yes, he me. is good to force <laughs> you down. What you going to do with that? I'll, I'm a, I'm a, no, I'm going to... You going to what? Carry a gun on me or something. No, 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 no. What if you don't? Like, what if you just oh, pull... Oh, no, what if, you, what if you pull up to a Dwight Howard party, you just I'm not grab going, you? First, I'm not going to the Dwight Howard party no more, <laughs> bro. Yo, but the nigga said he pulled out another nigga named Kitty. Start fucking that nigga. Start fucking the nigga in front of him, bro. What's going on with the white, bro? I don't know. And you know how I know it's true? Cause he said it. No, the nigga said whatever I do with my meat is my business. And then he also said like he admitted to it, but he said it was all consensual. Well, he's in the court. Yeah, he said in the court because they went to court for that. He was like, he was like, nah, everything we did was consensual. I mean, Dwight Howard consensually gave that nigga some some neck. Hey, yo, Dwight. (laughs) <laughs> yo. Man, yo, and I was crazy. pushing for you to be in the top 75 I still am though. Nah I still ain't, ain't gonna change it nothing but I, I You should know. be on the Warriors for real But that's that's shows though Like bro the NBA they really be They know bro Like like it's a reason why he's not on the team right now They knew that shit was gonna come out You think so so they don't like, want that publicity Yeah that they, shit ain't that, on, they ain't want that shit in the locker room All that that's shit true, bro That's true they oh, knew, wait, Corey, bro. You can put your mic down a little bit so it's not in front of your face Like just grab it from this way though like grab this part and like put it down. Yo, you got me handling shit after we talking about this. The subject is crazy, bro. No, like just push it down like this. Oh, all right. Yeah, so it's like not in your face. Pause. All right, bet. Yeah. All right, say something real quick. Me, 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 me. All right, don't don't touch that thing though. Just don't touch the wire. Yeah, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that that might be the reason why. Yo, this hold on. This is a perfect segment to my question. No, no, no. Wait till you, I got one more thing to talk about. No, that it's goes, perfect, bro. I'm right, go, ahead, go, ahead, perfect, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It's perfect. Wait, does that have to do with the NBA? Yes. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. It's go ahead. perfect. What, what you got? Who would be the world's most dominant one-on-one basketball player if everyone was forced to play naked? <laughs> <laughs> if everybody was forced to play naked? Yeah. Like, like if like, they like butt one on- naked, bro. One on one basketball players. Who would be the most dominant one on one basketball player if everyone was forced to play naked, bro? Ayo this, ayo this, ayo this, ayo this. <laughs> Shit, it might be Dwight, bro. Nah, <laughs> it might be Dwight, bro. Nah, nah, hell it no. might be Dwight, bro. If niggas, I, it gotta be a European nigga. Nah, because bro. you're remember Julian, bro. He didn't care. Yeah, he Luca did. going stupid. Luca might or or Jokic. Luca or Jokic going stupid. I feel Giannis like be- might go stupid. I can see Giannis acting like Julian in the locker room, bro. <laughs> Giannis might go stupid, bro. If y'all don't know, Julian was one of our teammates in college. Uh, and she, he was from Austria. Opa. I hope you watch this, bro. I'm gonna send it to you, Julian. Opa, I miss you, bro. Yeah, Heidi Fleshner, bro. Schlumpa. Wolfschmein and Swans, you feel me? He's from Austria. He fick this, fick this, fick this, fick this. But yeah, I think. Oh, it gotta be a European because I feel like they are not the they're mo- comfortable the, the with most comfortable. and that they they're used to that. they've been doing that their whole lives like they just be like butt ass nigga running around walking nah, around so people. I gotta tell the Ju- I gotta tell this Julian story bro this is my this is the funniest story I'm not gonna say who it was in front of but the niggas on the Rutgers real basketball team you know who it was do I know yeah bro you gonna know how I tell the story okay. you was probably next to him you're locking right next to the niggas yo Julian was <laughs> Julian was getting changed but you know how we used to get changed we used to go in the corner you yeah. feel me. Julian never went in the corner. Julian would just pull down his pants, butt booty out, shmeat yeah. out, bro. Yeah. So the nigga he locked. So Julian's like six seven, six eight, 
the dude locker he front of was like five 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 six. So when he pulled down his, his pants, his schmeat being bro face. <laughs> <laughs> And one day, bro got mad and was like, yo, Julian, bro, next time you pull down your pants in front of me, bro, we are fighting, bro. <laughs> I'm tired of your ass and your schmeat being in my face, bro. And he goes, oh, you Americans are so immature, bro. <laughs> you Americans, bro. It's just skin. I do remember <laughs> that. Yo, that shit had me so fucking weak, bro. Nigga, I was right next to the motherfucker. I know. You know what I'm saying? You was right. You, meat was in your face, too. No, it wasn't. I turned away. <laughs> I, I didn't I didn't change in the locker room with y'all niggas. But, all right. Nah, that's funny as hell. But, yeah, I think Luka or Jokic would be going. Joka back down? The, yeah, he got rump, too. That's what I'm saying. That's Damn, OD. Damn, bro. That's hella rump, bro. And Luka type thick. Pause. Yeah. No, I'd be like, uh, <laughs> you say, you say he hella thick, bro. <laughs> like, like up top. This is wild. <laughs> up top, this is he wild. hella thick up top. Like you know, like he he big body. Like he like oh, he like flabby. He, he got some. He flabby. Yeah, yeah, like I don't think LeBron will go stupid. I don't nah. think LeBron like touching niggas. Nah, I don't think LeBron a touchy nigga either. Nah, bro. I think nah. That's that's definitely, I, 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 I got my money on Giannis, bro. Nah, I got Jokic. I think Jokic. You nah, know, it he might be because then Jokic uses his body. He's not moving. Jokic. No, that's gonna make no. I feel like Jokic, Jokic sweats a lot. Yeah, and that's going to make people uncomfortable because Jokic uses his body too much, bro. Exactly. So that, that skin to skin body mm-hmm. is definitely, it might be Jokic. It's going to be right. Jokic. It might be Jokic. Jokic. It might be Jokic. Jokic. Jokic's about to go stupid. Pause. But he be, he be on those horses. I know he don't give a fuck about nothing else. Nigga say he's on the horses. <laughs> but I, right, bro. You got it? <laughs> yeah, niggas is weird. I, right, bro. Oh, look, we go with the camera? All right. I Hold got on. this. Sponsored by Coco Brother. <laughs> Coco Blooder. He fucked up already. Yeah. All right, bro. I got a theory that I created in my mind. This is all jokes. This is not real. I just created this with my brain, and I just thought it was funny. Don't kill me. I don't care. Damn. Ooh. Got mad Coco Butter on my lip. That shit looks wild. All right, bro. So we was talking about the NBA, about all the NBA. We're talking about NBA. We're talking about all the views, right? Mm-hmm. So who is the hottest? Who is... At the top of the M- not the top of the NBA, but who is the most popular in the NBA right now? Popular? Yeah. Like you, player? You know who. You know who it is. He's already the most gassed up player of all time right now. Oh, what 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 uh Victor Wembenyama. Your mama? Wemben, not Wetty Your Mama's crazy. <laughs> Victor Wembenyama. If y'all know, seven foot five. I called this two years ago on the pod. You did. You really I called I remember it. that. You te- I remember you texted me. He was like, We should tank for this for Wimby. Mm-hmm. I called it. I called it. The next generational player is going to be seven foot five doing hella guard shit. Look what he's doing, right? Bet. Now, now what I'm getting into is that history repeats itself, right? Uh-huh. Think about it. Wimbin Yama, seven foot five, one of the most hyped players since LeBron James. He's playing against well, arguably, arguably the top two player to ever play the game, right? Mm-hmm. Now, think about it. V- history repeats itself. 20 years earlier, you know who got drafted? LeBron? Yao Ming. Seven foot oh. five, right? Seven foot five, seven foot six from China. They're both tall as hell. They both international players, right? Uh huh. Guess who was Yao Ming was playing with? Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan when he was thirty eight, right? Uh-huh. When that was the year Michael Jordan retired was when Yao Ming came in. Yeah. So I feel like, and did you ever hear about that shit when niggas said Yao Ming was creating the lab? Them jokes. I heard. I heard that. Yeah, I did hear that. It's not yo. It's not jokes. Like he wasn't created in the lab, but he was bred to be like they like they was watching him uh-huh. for decades, right? So the Chinese government was trying to find ways to like you know bring like have like a bridge to the Western world, yeah. which is us. But they didn't have nobody like they didn't have no good sports team, soccer, whatever. Yeah. But they weren't and they weren't tall, so they did like research on like human beings like throughout the on their systems throughout the years mm-hmm. and they did like their like bone growth and they had like a whole study or whatever about it oh, and <laughs> so they had a whole study like they had a whole system of like growth like it had to deal with like their bone length and shit <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's just like a car like <laughs> <laughs> so they had their they 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 checked like the baby lengths and shit like that uh-huh. and so what it was is Yao Ming's great is Yao Ming's grandfather was one of the tallest Chinese people ever. Yeah. But he was already too late to play basketball, uh-huh. whatever, because he was too old. So what they did, they waited decades because they used his son, which is Yao Ming's father. He's six yeah. nine, and made him go with Yao Ming's mother, who was six foot two. 
They did it on purpose. Uh huh. Like they there was like they didn't really like force them to have sex, but they was like, hey, meet her, this, that, and third. Yeah. Tall people. You guys go tall. You guys gonna make a tall baby. Yeah. And I don't know what else they did. But they knew that Yao Ming was going to be tall. Uh-huh. They knew he was going to be tall. I don't know if they knew he was going to be that tall. They yeah. knew he was going to be tall. So I'm thinking like, and also an NBA scout, one of the first NBA scouts went to China, like northern China where Yao Ming's from. Yeah. He's seen 27 footers. Uh-huh. 27 footers. So, I mean, they was, they was trying. They, they was trying. trying. Hey, J- Jabobo. Now you got to Oh, no, Jabobo. Oh, Jabobo. Jabobo. Some an- animal cruelty. <laughs> I tried to help you, Jabubu. I tried to help you, Jabobo. Is the camera good, Libby? Am I blurry? Check. No? All right. We good? All right. Sorry, people. I had to do that. So, basically. So Patrick. Th- so the so the M, so the NBA scouts say he went to northern China uh-huh. and seen twenty seven footers. The, yeah. no, the average age of Chinese people is five foot seven. You want to say it's short? Right? That's what I'm saying. So what I'm thinking is, like, and during that time, that's when Michael Jordan was about to retire. So they needed somebody to build around, not really build around, but to bring attention to. Yeah. So imagine, right, the boys. You know how the boys works. Uh huh. If y'all know how the boys work, it's a show on uh, Amazon Prime. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! The compound V. Compound V. Yeah. Imagine niggas. I don't think it's true. This is just something cool and funny. Imagine niggas from the league, right? They Didn't compound V. They compound V. The nigga. They get yo cloning is possible, but what uh-huh. if they could make you know something where they make you taller? Uh huh. Sent that shit over to China. They was like, you know what? You bring him over, now we're gonna break now basketball is gonna go to China. It's gonna go yeah. It's gonna go to China, it's gonna go international now, right? Mm-hmm. One now, ever since Yao Ming came, they all love basketball. A lot of all the Asian countries they love basketball. Philippines, China, Indonesia, they all love basketball, right? Now, right? Think about it like this. Pandemic happened, all the views dropped. Yeah. But I feel like all the views dropped, and he's still dropping. Victor Wimbenyama comes in, the views start going up. Yeah, I feel like this was. I feel like if if it was, I don't think so. It's just for for he fun. A, he was an industry plant. It was an industry plant. Like they was preparing years ago. Yeah, for something like this, and now that maybe what if they knew the pandemic was gonna happen or something like bad was gonna happen in twenty twenty uh-huh. that the ratings were gonna go down. They prepared earlier, twenty years earlier. Oh, let's give some. Let's give make this person maybe a little taller. Let's let's give his. Victor Wimanyama's father was 6'6". His mom was 6'3". All right. You know, they got good height. Let's make him... Let's give him whatever... Let's give him, like, you know, a couple pills or give them something. Maybe he comes out a little taller. Some crazy milk. Yeah. And then if he pans out, he pans out. And he comes to the NBA, and now he's the face. Yeah. He's taking it from LeBron, just like how Yao Ming was supposed to take it from freaking uh Mike. Mike. And imagine all these all these other tall ass niggas that's like seven foot five or whatever. Imagine they was all experiments, but they all failed. Sean Bradley, Ralph Sam, they was just all too big. They was all yeah. tests, they was all too big. But I don't think that's true. That's just fun that's to think theory, about. Bro. That's fun to if think about. Just appear, bro. Just know Adam Silver has packed him up, bro. <laughs> that shit. You do you remember when that billionaire offered LeBron James and Serena Williams a billion dollars to have a baby. What? A billionaire offered them, I think it was a billion each, for both for, for them to have a kid. Really? Just, just cause they think that would be the greatest athlete ever conceived. Low key? Think about it. But he don't have to have sex for it, but he just had to like get the sperm out, get the sperm there. I mean, I, I think he wanted them to have sex. Though. Oh, I, I, <laughs> he I don't I don't, I don't Yeah, I don't know how he wanted them to have I think he wanted I think he wanted to have it natural. So yeah. it could be like a natural baby, but I think they was like that would be the great if it's a well, just a boy. Nope, not be sexist. Yeah, they wanted a, they wanted a boy, and he wanted him to be the greatest athlete of like ever conceived. Like he would just be the greatest specimen of an athletic LeBron and Serena Williams. Really natural, no I steroids. Didn't. He offered him a billion. He obviously they turned it down. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, that'd be bro. od. LeBron and Serena, that baby go nah. If you play that football, going he goes stupid. stupid it's bro. going stupid, bro. No matter what sport that baby plays, it's going stupid, bro. Wow, that's wild. Boxing, bro. basketball, football. Hey, that's hey, I just I, you baseball never, you, straight home runs, bro. I feel, I feel like if that if that billionaire would have 
ask them to do it. Who who would you think what goes to say that not even a billionaire, but a millionaire asks like two people that like maybe are in college that are really athletic uh-huh. to make a baby? Probably like fuck it, let's do it. Fuck like maybe they try, maybe some people. Like you yeah, never know. Definitely probably what is he working over there? And himself. No, he's oh. like he's like crying. Oh. Shut the fuck up, nigga. We we good, right, Libby? Like it's like not it's focused on me? All right. But yeah, bro, I was thinking about that. I was like, nah, that's just OD, bro. Imagine. Because nah, it's literally, it lines up perfectly. Victor Wimbiama's playing against LeBron. Yao Ming played against Michael Jordan. They was both 38. Damn, bro. Shit's, o- spitting, bro. Shit's OD. I seen, I seen another basketball post, and it was not related to this, though. No, no. But cool. it was like, so it was like Kyrie. So what Kyrie is to Steph, KD is to Braun. What is who was the fourth? It was the third person. Kyrie was to Steph, the KD was to Braun, and they is basically saying that w- that's who Victor Wimbiyama is gonna be, or Chet is gonna be to Victor Wimbiyama. Ah. Where, where it's like you're not better, you're obviously like feel me like he's you gonna have your moments. You're gonna like you have your moments where you obviously you're superior. Like you got your you got the talent. You're you're good. Yeah, but you're not. You're not pushing it over the edge where you're like you're not some you're not significantly greater than this. Like Steph is the best shooter. Yeah. Kyrie be saucing him though. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Steph is just a better, feel me, better, more efficient player. Feel me? Do you think that because I'm just killing me? I gotta find out who the third name is. <laughs> but do you think that if it was Chet, like say it's Chet to Wembenyama, do you think that? It was gonna be like like how Kyrie and Katie's career is like. There's always like criticism behind them off the court. You think Chet's gonna be like that, or you just think it depends just- how their career paths go. Like for me, I, like let's say Chet stays with OKC his whole career, yeah. there'd be no reason for them to have that. Uh, yeah, I feel like it, it, I feel like if it's at low key, it might be the other way around. You know what I mean? Nah, because Wimby's supposed to be the great. That's why I'm saying that. Like, uh, like Wim, Wimby's supposed to be Braun. Mm-hmm. Wimby's supposed to be Steph. Like he's supposed to be supposed to be Pushing level levels ahead of him. I'm hearing but you, it's I'm a hearing it's you. a nigga like it's a nigga that's just like you that will be busting your ass mm-hmm. for the next twenty years. But he's not going. He's, he's, he's not. He's not. He's never ever going to surpass you because there's levels to this. Who mm-hmm. is this third person? I'm so mad. I can't think about this third person. That's a good one though. Wimby and Chet. That's actually kind of. Th- but it, was it them or not? It was Wimby and Chet. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the third. It was a. It was Steph Braun. Was it like Harden and Kobe or some no. shit? No. I'm gonna remember when like it don't matter no more. <laughs> <laughs> Dig, bro. That's ass. It was good though. Nah, that's cool though. I th- I like that narrative though, but I feel like I don't know, I feel like Chet might be better. Nah, Chet not gonna be better than Wimby, bro. You don't think so? I don't think it will hold I don't think I don't think Wimby He's holding up pretty well, but he is pretty flexible for himself, but I feel like there you go. Pause. I feel like Wemby is more. I feel like they. I don't know, but they're both doing good though. They are. They are. They might. This might be like the first time since like J Kid and uh, Grant Hill. There's gonna be a co co rookie of the year. Nah, I don't. I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. Just, I think. I think. I stats. think Wemby is 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 levels ahead of this dude. But what if Chet's record is better? Don't matter. No, I got that. That got to matter before. No, because Chet got a better team. Uh, Chet like averaging fifteen and seven. He, I think Wimby averaging like eighteen and something. Yeah, Chet went down a little bit. He was averaging like seventeen. All right, fuck it. I'm gonna give up. I don't know who the, who the third people are. I didn't think Chet was gonna be this good though. He's doing better than I thought. That's good for him though. But oh, hold on. Do I got? Oh, I got a question for you. All right, I got a question. I got a question. So, God is giving you a hundred million dollars, yeah. but before you get that money, you must survive one full year of. Bad luck. One full year of bad luck. How much money am I getting? A hundred million dollars. <clears throat> What's bad luck? Like, you're not going to die, but, you know, shit just not going to go your way. You might get fired. You might find a girl. She cheat on you. God forbid, family member might pass away unexpectedly. Just one year of bad luck. I feel like I already got a, a couple years of bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I might take it. I don't want nobody to die, though. That's what I'm saying. But it's like, it, but once you get out of a hundred million dollars. It'd be like the book of Job. I'll do it. The book from the Bible? Yeah. How mm. so the book of Job was that God and the devil had a bet. It was like mm-hmm. the devil was like, hey, I, 
they only love you because you give them good things or you give them good fortune. If they if you took away all that all that stuff away from them, mm-hmm. they wouldn't love you no more. Yeah. And God said, "Bet pick a random person. Pick Job. Job had the perfect life. He was rich. He had a bunch of kids. He had a beautiful family. He had land. He had everything." And God took it all, killed it. His, his kids, his wife died, took away his, his wealth, his land died. He took God took everything. And through everything, Job still believed in God. Mm. So I knew that. So at the end, God gave him everything but doubled. He doubled everything he had. Uh, so whatever he had before, he doubled it. Just because through, through everything God took from him, Job still believed in God. Uh, so I didn't think you knew. I knew that story because Jay's, Jay's been uh, reading the Bible lately. He's been going to church. for school, bro. Ah, I didn't know you knew that. <laughs> I went to Catholic school, bro. Oh shit! Don't sleep with me. Don't sleep on it, bro. Ah, so so you will so you will go through that. Yeah. What if like bitch should get hit by a car? Come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> like, come on. Bro. Be, I I, won't, I don't want to go with that. I'm cool. <laughs> come on, bro. I don't know. I don't want to do I, that. I, don't do that, bro. Nah, I, I don't want. I I can't do it, bro. I can't risk it. Like, imagine Jay. Some, God forbid, some shit happened to Jay. Tell him to stay in the box, bro, for a year. Just stay in the box, bro. Yeah, you stay, stay in the, the crib the, for a year. Stay in the crib for a year, bro. Don't leave my sight for a year. Like, no, bro. no, because you my sight. You might fuck around. Just go stay. Go to an asylum for a year. Bro. No, I can't, bro. <laughs> go to an asylum. I don't for a know, year, bro. bro. I don't know. I just think I don't. A hundred mil though. Bad luck. Nigga, you might you your your job they might fire your ass. You don't have no bread. I'm, I'm gonna be up though. I'm gonna be up eventually. A year is a long ass time, bro. Think about it, bro. 2020 just started, bro. It's, it's 2023. That's what I meant. 2023 just. But started, But think about bro. it. Like, how many episodes have you done this year? Shit, I don't know. Exactly, that's a fucking lot. I do like seven, eight, nine. I don't know, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's just crazy. I don't. I it's. I, I don't know, bro. I don't think I could do it though. So, but you'll do it though. I'm doing it. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, whatever. I think I already got bad luck. So, nigga, I already got bad <laughs> luck. All right. Um. Oh, I got another. Would you rather question? Would you rather be able to see ghosts or you only be able to hear them? See ghosts or hear ghosts. I want to see him. If I just hear him, that's going to freak me out. I want to know where you at. Are you sure? Like, imagine you walk out the bathroom, you just see a motherfucker, like, standing right there. What if you just hear him, bro? I mean, that's like talking to the dead, I guess. Like, you just hear the dead. But, I mean, like, the only, the the worst thing is, like, if a motherfucker be like, I'm going to kill you. Exactly. I'd rather just see you, bro. Nah, I can't. I'd rather hear, bro. I can't be seeing that shit. Like, imagine you wake up, demon, like a motherfucking... Uh, figure at the edge of your bed. I'd rather know it's there, though. What you mean? You know it's there. He's just talking to you in your ear. He, like, whispering in your ear and shit. Yeah, but I'd rather, like, know you. I'd rather know it's there, know what you have, know what you look like. Nah, how? Just, like, then but, just hear this nigga. Like, now I gotta be like... what the motherfucker look scary as shit? He gonna kill me? No, he not gonna kill you, but he gonna look scary as shit. He gonna scare the fuck out of you. Fuck it, bro. We gonna be bald, bro. Like, imagine you just keep seeing shit, like... Like, you just see him, like... You're just like, what the fuck? Yo, but go somewhere, bro. Get ghost ass, bro. I don't want to see your ugly face, bro. That's what you gonna do? Yeah, bro. Like nigga, if I can hear, I'm just gonna be like, like. Ugh. But if I can hear you, like, it's always that thought in the back of my mind that like, where are you? Yeah, where but are I mean, you? At least I what know. you up to? What you like? What you doing right now, bro? Yo, speak. Like the wants- only thing I'll be scared of if it, if I can hear is like, if I hear like, say I'm in my crib by myself and I hear like, ah, or like Darius, and he's just calling out for me. I'm just like, what the fuck? I mean, oh, I know that that's just the ghost. You just call my name. Nah, I can't do it, bro. What? So like imagine you in your crib by yourself Mm-mm. and then you see rather, somebody at that door. Like you like you're you're playing video games, or whatever. I'd rather like if you were around I'd rather know where you at, bro, than just hear you. Cause now if I hear it's like it's like seeing a roach and then it disappear. Like the now, fuck? now but, the rest of the night I'm wondering where the fuck you at, bro. But like the go but the ghost is like it's not gonna like touch you like a roach. It's just a ghost. Like it's just looking at you like a demon that's a figure. But that shit gonna look that shit could look scary. So imagine that shit, imagine that shit like the fucking um like the fucking Slender Man. That's just like crawling into your room like that. Like it's tall as Damn, fuck. That imagine, shit look fucking wild. Imagine bro. waking up in the middle of the night and you see that shit. Nigga, Damn, that, that might that might hit different though. That, that's what I'm lie. saying. That might just kill me, like give me a heart attack. Like imagine you just drive past a cemetery, you just see like a little girl out there. Damn, or might- if or if you just drive past seventeen, you just hear a scream like ah. I don't like hearing shit though, bro. Like, but what you mean you don't like hearing? Like, like just just ignore it. Like you can't ignore if a motherfucker walking towards you. But you know what I mean? If you walk towards me and just go by me, then like, 
Hell no. Nah, maybe you might be right. You know what I mean? You might be right. What if it, what if it, uh, just stay like right here? Yeah, <laughs> like he's just like in your face. I'm like, just like, I'm like, yo, bro, move, bro. Like, and you can't do nothing. You're just like, like, yeah, you just side eyeing the fuck out of that nigga. You might be right. I want to hear that. Yeah, you, you might, know, you you know might what I mean? Right. I just want to, like, I want to know where you at, bro. Like, I, 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 fuck that. Nah, don't, don't tell me where you at, my nigga. Don't tell me shit. But, oh, I got a, I got a good story to tell you, bro. Oh, yeah. Why you say? Wait, what you say? Oh yeah, tell that shit. Oh okay, I got a good story to tell you. All right, bro. Yeah, happy for the story, nigga. I got so now I'm weird for being happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. So there's a so supposedly a man killed an alien with a samurai sword. <laughs> Sounds wild. Where Sounds bro? wild. It's hot, but let me tell you, Will there's you kill a the octopus. Nah, let me explain. Right? So have you ever heard of Stardust Ranch? Have you heard of Skinwalker Ranch? Yeah. So think about that. But times 10, right? Uh So Stardust Ranch is a ranch in Arizona. It's like 45 minutes away from Phoenix. And a man named John Edmonds and his wife Joyce moved into that crib in 1996. Yeah. And from the jump, it was already mad weird. Like they bought it for, I think there was like, like racing. They were like having like a little horsey horse, like event thing, like a stable for horses. And they bought the land and they bought the house, but it was weird. Like they walked in there and all the people's, like past people's furniture was still in there. Like it wasn't moved out. So they was like, what the fuck? And so what they realized was like, they started seeing like orbs in the skies and like shit flying past them, like UFOs in the air. But they just thinking, they're just like, they're like, don't know what the fuck it is. Yeah. And it's like, I think the, f- yeah. So they'd be seeing shit in the sky. They don't know what it is until one day. Right. It was, they were sleeping. It was him and his wife sleeping in bed. He wakes up. He sees three little things around his bed. He hits one of them with a bat. Hits them. And then they just like disappear into thin air. That was the first time he seen them. They just popped up. But, oh, I forgot. I forgot one thing. I forgot one thing. So, before all that, right, where it all started was he had a dog. Mm -hmm. And the dog was in like the kennel because it's the dog that corrals all like the animals and shit. So, he found the dog one morning flattened out. Like, outside the candle, dead, flattened out, like a steamroller just went over that dude. Yeah. So, then, and then, re- and then every now and then, they'll start seeing marks on their arms and their bodies, like somebody was, like, cutting them, or, like, they'll see bruises, or they'll see, like, brands, like, you know, a cow brand. Mm-hmm. It'll be, like, weird, like, things on their bodies and their arms. They don't know what the fuck it came from. And then, that's when one night, three figures, three aliens, like, the little uh, gray aliens with the big eyes came, see- he seen them around his bed, and he got scared him with a baseball bat. And, but they disappeared. So then they said they start encountering them like often, like a lot. Like they call the cops, but the cops never see anything. So they say that every 72 hours, a portal opens up like on their property. But most of the time it happens in their, in their um, living room, but it's while they're sleeping, while they're not looking. But so one night they came again and he tried to take his wife. And I guess, like, the bats and stuff wasn't working because every time he hit them, they'll all just, like, disappear. Yeah. Like, they'll phase away. So one day he bought a samurai sword, like a katana, and he waited, like, every 72 hours, he waited until the port. I guess, some, a portal opened up and only three come at a time. Yeah. So I guess he waited for them to pull up, and he snuck one, cut his head off, and he took a picture of not the alien because once he cut the head off, that one stayed, but the other two... I think left or they all left, but he had like, like, um, like some type of blood on like the floor and it was on his, on the, the blade. So he sent that to like, uh, I think a professor he known in like Michigan that was like studies in like UF, uh, UFOs and shit like that. And the guy said that this is like a breakthrough for like extraterrestrials. Cause this is something that is not known to earth, but it's like something from space. Yeah. And before he's about to say something, the nigga just unexpectedly died. The the scientists, yeah. So the whole time, so right, so ever since that happened, they've still been living on the ranch, just trying to like ignore everything and just trying to like, you know, act like that didn't happen. But they still see orbs and shit like that. But they tried to sell the house for two million dollars, and you know who, who was about to buy it? NASA. No, the same guy who bought the Skinwalker Ranch house in Utah. For real? The same guy. His name's Robert Bigelow. He was about to buy it, but he decided not to. Uh-huh. He was like, you know, I'm not going to do it. So, like, it's open to the public. Like, I think it's still on sale for, like, it's like $5 million to buy that land. Because it's a whole big land and it's like a, a crib. And I guess, like, you can, like, go there to, like, 
spend the night there, see if you see some shit. Like the all, like Ghost, uh, I think Ghost Adventures was there, Travel Channel was there. They was all there. They would do like nights in the house. Ain't nobody found shit. I don't mm-hmm. know. <laughs> so I don't know if it's real, but the, when I heard that story, they, he wrote that's a, a way to wake, make up a story that get your fucking land property to go up. Hey, <laughs> that'd be that'd be that's some smart shit though. Yeah, because he was doing an interview, and he was like doing an interview like this. Was it called Bugaloo? J- uh, no, his name was um. No, what's the ranch called? Boogaloo Ranch. Boogaloo. No, uh, Stardust Ranch. Oh, Stardust. Who's Boogaloo? That's the guy. Uh, it's like James Bigelow, whatever. Bigelow. Oh. Yeah. He's like a he's like a billionaire, or whatever. He's who was like into like the UFOs and shit. So he bought Skin, like when um Skinwalker Ranch was seeing all them aliens, he bought it so he can investigate, and he actually yeah. found shit. So, and it's like, like the guy I think John Edmonds, like he was doing an interview like for the TV, and it, this was on the news too, like the whole story about him fucking having to attack aliens and shit. And I guess he was doing an interview, and on the back like there was like a. He was like in the living room, and then behind him was the dining room, and there's like a wall, and you see something like poke his head out, like what the fuck? And he and like it was like a little gray thing, but it could have been like some fake shit. Yeah, but I don't know. I just thought it was mad interesting hearing that shit, bro. That shit crazy. You think so? Yeah. You never know, bro. Imagine, imagine that was you doing that shit. He made up that story just to just to get. He didn't want that house no more. He just wanted to get some extra money. It's either that, or it's either that he's a genius, or. Nigga's nice. Might, uh, he might be right, bro. Imagine he's nice. He cut the katana off. But like, imagine, right? Now his the, the fucking souls in the katana. Like, uh, what's that? Uh, her name is Katana, right? The uh, one. I know you're talking about. I don't know her name. I think it might be Katana. I don't think from it is. from Suicide Squad. Yeah, it is Katana. Are you sure? Yeah, I okay. think so. But yeah, I don't know. I just think, like I said, I believe. Like we all believe in aliens. You know what I'm saying? It could be real. It could not be real. But I just think I believe in aliens. I don't believe that story is real, though. You don't think so? <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was, it was, it was kind of weird. It was kind of, it was mad interesting. I was just like, nah, there's no way this shit, but it was on the news when it happened. Yeah. He played his car rights, but he just wanted to sell his crib. Unless, unless, but I don't think, I don't know if he sold this though. Unless he's just like, um, he, he running that shit up, bro. Mm, now, now what? He's a genius. Now watch that shit sit, bro. That shit going to be for like 10, 10 15 mil? million when, by it, the time he sell that shit. Yo, it did look like the, the, the crib from Courage of Cowley Dog. That's like the area. Oh, that for real? I'm going yeah. to make a house. If I hope I get rich, one day I'm going to make a crib in the middle of nowhere that look like that. Just to fuck Courage with Courage of Cowley Dog just shit? Just to fuck with niggas. <laughs> That's a good idea, though. Uh, you, got, you got any topics to talk about? For cause I got, oh, I got, I got a couple questions. A couple questions. Oh, I forgot the other player. It was Embiid to Jokic. Ah, you know how, okay. Embiid, you know, how whenever Embiid see Jokic, he busts his ass, but Jokic is it's always gonna be better. It's clearly, the superior player. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. That's a good one. I was thinking that too, but I didn't know if that was it. That's a good one. <laughs> this is crazy. You have to pick one food for your best friend. To chew and spit in your mouth. What you, what food do you choose? Oh, this is. Oh, I, oh I'm gonna die. No, it's just a question. <laughs> nah, this is bad gay. <laughs> That's the question I was saying. Now nah, this is bad gay. The, you J- have to pick one food for your best friend. To Jay's chew. my best friend. Ben. Huh? Jay's my best friend. Nah, nah. Fritz gonna spit in my mouth. Yep. Pause. You have to. Chew, you have to pick a food for for Fritz to. For first to chew and sp- chew up and spit in your mouth, what food do you chew? What'd you, how'd you think about this? I found it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Interesting. Answer the internet. Ch- shout out to y'all. Answer the internet. Interesting. Okay. Um. Wow. Rice. I was going to say rice. Too. Rice. <laughs> rice is ah, so good, it's, it's, so it's grainy, though. It's like. Can I get bread for this? Nah, no. No bread, bread just, just for my life? If I don't do this, I die. Yeah, you could add, you could have that stipulation because you you're just gonna say no yeah. <laughs> for your life, bro. It'll either be rice or oatmeal. Ew, oatmeal's too wet and slimy. Ew. No, it's not. <laughs> Ew, that's nasty. You need something. Why I answer this question? That's mad slimy. Like no, it's not. Ew. <laughs> like it gotta be something where like if you chew, it's still the same consistency. Ah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah, if you pick rice, it's gonna turn different. Yeah, you want you want something that I uh, you, you can't chew oatmeal though. I'm on your ass. You could chew oatmeal. <laughs> you could chew oatmeal. <laughs> you don't know it's coming out of somebody's mouth. You think it's just regular oatmeal? Ah, you could chew oatmeal. What you what are you picking? 
Rice and beans, bro. Rice, nah. Why you gotta add the beans? Rice and beans. Nah, bro. I don't know. Beans nasty. Nah, I don't chew beans. That's why. So that's how I'm thinking about you it. You swallow beans? Yeah, I don't chew beans. Why don't you chew beans? That's nasty, bro. What do you mean it's nasty? You're still eating it. Yeah, but I, nah, bro. Like the the inside of the bean is so nasty. I can't chew. I just. But why do you eat it? Cause I like the sauce that comes with beans. Like beans usually come with a sauce that's pretty good. So oh, I, like I hate beans. Look, look, look at you. I don't like beans. I don't like beans either. That's just nasty. So bro. what if you just take the the beans out of the sauce? You cool with that? So just sauce, sauce and rice. Yeah. Yeah, I might just do. What do you? Look, because I know you eat everything. I do. Like, is there any food that you don't like? I don't eat eggs. I hate eggs. Oh bro. yeah, you don't like eggs. That's so freaking weird. Why don't you like eggs? Eggs is so nasty, bro. So you never even. So you never even eat a breakfast sandwich? I have, and I, I take the egg out. So you just have a bacon cheese? Bacon cheese, yeah. <laughs> sausage. Well, I usually get sausage and cheese, though. So it's like a bigger patty. Nah, uh, sausage and cheese is why. That's basically like a burger, bro. Yeah. A spicy-ass burger, bro. I don't like eggs, bro. Eggs is nasty, bro. Like, has it always been like that since you was a kid? Yeah, it was a point. I don't know. No, it hasn't. It was a point where I, I kind of did like eggs. I don't know when that turning point was. I just stopped eating eggs. Because that's OD. I just one day I woke up, I was like, I don't, I don't You're not like an egg this. person? But it was like, since I, I stopped when I was young, though, like seven, though. So it, it, it wasn't long. Yeah. But you know what? I could eat a boiled egg, though. But I can't eat the like the yellow part, though. Why don't you like the yellow? I mean, you, can you eat egg whites? No. Nah. Why? Like, what? Do you not like the texture or the taste? I don't, like, I don't know what it, I don't like. I just don't like it. It's something about it just throws me off. Oh, uh, okay. But, like, a boiled egg, though, I could eat a boiled egg. I just got to take the yellow part out. So, say if I give you fried rice with eggs in it. I won't. I can't. So, I could. If you, I could. I don't taste the eggs with, with fried rice. So, I could eat that. But okay. That's just because I don't taste it, though. Mm-hmm. I don't like It's like, it's whatever. But, like, let's say you just give me a, 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 a plate of eggs. Yeah. Finish this. I'm not going to finish it. For your life, could you do it? I'll, I'll do anything for my li- <laughs> life. <laughs> okay. Swallow that shit for my life. Pause. Clip that. Clip that. Pause. Clip that. Clip that. Clip that. <laughs> Whoever's watching, please, if we got people to clip it. Hey, yo, pause. But nah, but like, <laughs> if you was just like, hey, like, let's say like I lived here and I was your guest and you fed me eggs every night for dinner, I'd be like, yo, bro, what, what you want, bro? Okay, okay. I'm not eating this shit, bro. I'm trying to think, what would that be for me? I don't like a lot of foods. Or chew a bean. If I have to chew a bean. Maybe that maybe that'd be for like I don't like soup. I hate soup. I love soup. Nah. I went to the Spanish restaurant the other day and I ordered a soup and they didn't give me my soup and I was so mad, bro. Like what type? Like you eat any drink any soup? Not any soup, but I ordered Dominican style soup and I was like so happy to eat it when I got home. And so it wasn't in the bag. The only way like, I will eat soup is if is a Filipino soup it's called sini gung, and it's like I eat it with right like if you put rice and then you put the soup on top, mm-hmm. I can eat that. Because yeah. the rice soaks it up, but I just can't just sit there and and nah, sip can, on soup. I can sip on soup. Really? I'm fuck with some soup. Bro. Nah. I want some soup right now. Like, nah, you can't eat. I can't Corey's eat. fasting, bro. So yeah, if you fasting. see him, if you see him in person and he's eating something past what time? What's your fast 12, hours? It's either twelve to eight or two to ten. It depends. When, it's whenever I start eating. Okay. So I usually it's usually twelve to eight though. Have you, have you been losing weight? I mean, I started one Monday. Oh, okay, okay. I started Monday. You got? Or, you been working out? No, I started a week. Started a week ago. So this is my second week going into it. Have you been working out? Push ups, light running, abs, sit ups. Oh, okay. I was about to say, you go in the stepper, bro. You, you, nigga, that shit gonna drop. I told you, I dropped 10 pounds in the summer, bro. For what? For fat? You was fasting yeah, in the summer? Yeah, I was summer. fasting in the summertime, yeah. You doing what, I was, what I'm doing now? What I, uh, I usually just did like, what I do? What I do? What I do? I did, um, oh, so this is what I did. So say I eat, I would usually eat past like four, yeah. eat nothing till four. So I eat at four, whatever, and then I would eat until whatever time, until the end. And then say I put, when I'm done, the, after my last meal, I put a timer on my phone. Mm-hmm. And if that timer is over like 16, 18 hours, yeah. then I'm cool to eat again. Oh, no, that's too complicated. That's it's not even that complicated. Just it's just the, like. I just do the 816. Shout out to my nigga Tyrese. We, we, we was, uh. He was on FaceTime, and I had ate some Chinese food. It was like 2 in the morning. He yeah. Like, he was like, yo, you serious, bro? You eating at 2 in the morning? I'm like, my nigga, I'm hungry. He like, yo, bro, what you on, bro? And then, <laughs> I, and then I ended up seeing him. He touched my stomach, and I was like, yo, you need to lose that. And I was like, oh, all right, bro. So I'm saying, yo, look. You doing t- <laughs> I'm telling you, like, do do this, bro. There's because, like, there was some days where I'll go 24 hours without eating. No, I can't do that, bro. But think about it. Like, think about it like this, right? Say you eat, Say you eat one meal at 4. Yeah. Right? 
eat one big ass meal at four. Mm-hmm. You do mad shit, work, whatever, sleep. You play video games till like four o'clock in the morning, go to sleep, wake up at 12. You don't eat until another four hours. So I wait four more hours? Yeah, just four more hours. Like, because, but ma- I, bro, I work two jobs now, bro. I'd be, t- I'd be hungry, bro. <laughs> okay, I understand because you'd be, you be up early. I'd like, be hungry, I, 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 but I was, I was working camp and I was doing it. Uh-huh. So I would have to be up early, but I still wouldn't be that hungry. Like, I would just drink mad water and then, like, say it would be like, See, but that's the water. The water, if you drink enough water, they like it, like clinches, not clinches, but like it like masks your hunger. Yeah, that's what, that's but, what I'm saying. And then I used to, I used to get smoothies a lot instead of food. Some smoothies. So I would get. Like, I mean, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to the twelve eight for a minute. To the, uh, the sixteen eight for a minute. Just stick to that for. So sixteen hours you don't eat. eat you do sixteen hours. Sixteen hours I don't eat. Eight yeah, I do. So I can right. eat from. I could eat and and outside of the. Outside of the sixteen, outside of the eight, I only could drink water. I can't drink juice or nothing. All right, that's good. So, so you're two weeks in. Um, yeah. So next Monday, I'll be it'll be two weeks. How much? How much you weigh? Right now, I weigh two 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 twenty. Two twenty. Yeah. Okay. So what are you trying to go down to? Like one ninety five. Yeah, that'll be I'll be ideal. One ninety five be ideal. All right, we'll see. We'll see. We're, we're gonna track Corey's progress throughout the years, bro. Two twenty. Yeah, I'm on two two twenty right now. All right. Oh, I, I got another question. So, would you rather have a clone of anybody in the world that can that can obey? Would you rather have a clone of any person in the world that obeys any of your commands, uh-huh. does whatever you want, or one million dollars? That's an easy question. So, which one are you gonna pick? <laughs> I'm gonna choose the clone, bro. Who are you gonna? Who's gonna be the clone? Ari. No, I'm joking. <laughs> 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 nah, um, I am choosing the clone though, but. I'm gonna do it in a, wi- a wiser, wiser, wiser w- way. That's yeah. a tongue twister. Wiser way. Wiser, wiser way. A, wi- a wiser way. I'm gonna pick like I'm trying to think of somebody that's super smart that can make me my mil- like. So I, I lose out in the million because I clone this nigga, but he's gonna make that money back. Nigga, you could you could pick Ice Spice and make her do make her OnlyFans. You up? But nah, I ain't gonna. Come on, you know what I'm gonna do with that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do with that, bro. She gonna be my, she gonna be my dungeon, bro. <laughs> nah, you're crazy. <laughs> Not the real Ice Spice, bro. Clone, yeah. You feel me? But I, me now. Uh, I'll pick Elon Musk. Oh yeah, I was gonna say Elon Musk, bro. But, but how are we gonna get bread from that? He's smart as fuck, bro. I know, but like, what is he gonna tell Invent us? Invent some do? shit, bro. Invent some and shit. Give me the money. <laughs> I know, but like. We gotta we have to find a way to hide this motherfucker, cause they gonna be like, "There's two Elon Musk. You got a twin." Da, 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 no, da. so whatever he like, feel me. Whatever you say, like whatever you do, bro. I'm just taking the credit for everything. But what are you gonna tell? You just tell him to make some shit. Yeah, bro. I don't think he just comes up with shit off the top of do, his ass. Do do some Elon Musk shit, bro. Be smart. <laughs> I was gonna no. I was gonna say I was gonna say Jeff Bezos, and you kill the real Jeff Bezos, and like take his place, and then you give me the bread. And then as your assistant. look at this evil nigga, bro. <laughs> Talking about me. Look at this evil nigga. Talking about murdering other niggas, bro. <laughs> what did you you said you are you said you was putting motherfuckers in dungeons. Yeah, she's a clone, bro. <laughs> the fuck is a clone, bro. She has she has feelings. Fuck them feelings. She not real, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. What you? What you, you mean? killed a real. You killed the original real man, bro. Nigga, you never know. You, there's clones all over the place. Jamie Foxx a clone. Oh, matter of fact, I got it, bro. Who? Fucking Stephen Hawkins, bro. Isn't he dead? Yeah, but he's still a clone, nigga. Oh, so you can pick a dead nigga? <gasps> no, 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 no. I'm picking Tupac. I'm Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> look, 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 look. Because niggas think Tupac faked his death. So you're gonna I'm gonna get a t- clone of Tupac and be like, yo, go back out to the public. Oh my god, Tupac's alive. Now he's back at the spot. He's talking to the time, he's gonna get hella bread. Give me that bread. But think about it, bro. If he looks twenty years old still, <laughs> Tupac has to be fifty. Okay, he could be he could be aged, an aged Tupac. How you gonna if you clone him? How you gonna age him? Oh, cause he dead. Exactly. He never bro. turned fifty. He never was that age, bro. He had the Lazarus pit. The what? He went to the Lazarus pit. The fuck is that? You never, you never watch fucking the DC oh, from Batman? Yeah, the yeah. La- maybe he went to the Lazarus pit. Or where to find that pit for me? <laughs> <laughs> I need to go in that pit every day. I thought I was on something. Damn. I think about it, Stephen Hawkins, bro. The nigga barely moved as it was, bro. But he's dead. Yeah, 
but I can still clone the nigga, bro. You think they don't got something for me to clone him, bro? Okay, so what are you gonna? What is he gonna do? He's smart as fuck. Make me some money, bro, <laughs> or tell me some genius shit. That I can, nigga, bro. Just cause the nigga went type like this, don't mean bro, he fucking he, smart. He could do astrophysics in his brain, bro. So, what if he what if he lying, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what if the motherfucker lying? How the nigga lying, bro? <laughs> what if it's not him talking? What if it's somebody in the back talking? <laughs> Who? I don't know. What if somebody? What if somebody? Like it's like he's like connected through Wi Fi, and the shit he says, somebody typing in typing like a, in. yeah, typing like typing in like, and he's they think oh, he's talking. Oh, it's really just a computer. It's like, really it's not a computer, but it's somebody else that's uh, smart. That's, and then, that's that's, that's kind of that's. And he's just calm. he's just like a nigga that's just like this. Like he's just not like he's not really thinking that, but somebody behind the scenes is doing all he's the just, typing and speaking for him. <laughs> <laughs> you see that episode? Who was, who was that SpongeBob? <laughs> a piece of gum. Yes. So yes, he is basically a piece of gum. Like he's, but he's not really that smart. Imagine you never know, I'm motherfucker. Picking, I'm picking somebody that's like he got to be a genius. You go, make me some money, bro. Say some smart shit that I can say, and it could make me money, bro. But like. Who? Maybe a f- no, I was gonna say no, nah, not a forex nigga. Nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I need like Ooh, a- Kobe. But so, hold on, you on to something? Kobe, you on to something? A magic trick. A new Kobe, and he just take over the NBA, and you just take all his bread, and he just who? Wait, no, but Kobe's gonna be he. Kobe's gonna be like forty something. It's gonna be, it's gonna be like he faked his death. He faked his death. Nah, so far. See, that's bad. That's bad. It's bad. How the fuck Kobe gonna be in the NBA? He forty. Maybe we don't have to start him when he forty though. Nigga, you just told me you had to be the same age. No, I didn't. I just said Tupac was never fifty, bro. Oh, <laughs> nigga, what the fuck? How the hell? How the hell they not gonna think that's not Kobe? You like, bro? Like, don't. oh, I make that nigga not shave the afro. Yeah, keep the afro <laughs> the whole career, bro. What the fuck? Niggas gonna know that's fucking Kobe. Like, hold on, this is a twin, bro. This is Kobe's twin, bro. No, they not, bro. Hold on. We there is a person out there. We're doing this. We're doing so much work. We could just get a million dollars, right? I know, right? We could just get a million flat. We could flip that bitch. We act like a million dollars is not a lot of money nowadays. It's a, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of like, bread. I, I want like yo. Get, I'm, I'm not going. Niggas want me, more. Give me Stephen Hawkins, bro. I'm, I'm going with Stephen Hawkins, bro. That nigga, you go and get Stephen Hawkins, and that motherfucker is not going to be who you think he is. You gonna he's tell him smart. to make you something smart? He's not gonna speak. He's actually gonna type it for me. <laughs> no, he's not gonna type. Like nothing's gonna happen. He's just gonna be there, looking at you, cause you got jerk. <laughs> you got dupe, bro. You just gotta. You just got a lamp. So who's the one? Who, whoever's doing the astrophysics in your head, bro? Let me get that nigga. What the bro. fuck you need astrophysics for? Bro, it's just, it's just smart shit. Nigga, that's bro. that's astronauts. Honestly, you could just clone a random bro. I right, bet. Clone a random smart person. Get the clone to kill that nigga, cause we don't even know who he is. He's not famous. Now you get. What he is? Nah, bro. What do you mean, nah? All right, you're right. Let's get Elon. No. Let's get Elon Musk. Kill him and he take the. No, we can't <laughs> have Elon Musk because he's famous. Yeah, but let's kill the real Elon Musk and just like let's, let's do what you said, bro. No, I don't want now to. We, now we gotta commit murder. No, bro. I don't. Now we killing niggas, bro. Just just cause you, just cause you, Yo. you just cause you don't want astrophysics, bro. Yo, because what is astrophysics gonna do with you for you? Bro, that's smart shit, bro. Like, nigga. but it's not nothing. Like, I'm rather a Wall Street nigga or like somebody that's good with money. That nigga just knows how to get to space. What the fuck? Well, exact. You know, it's money that's gonna make. Okay, he's not gonna help with the business. I side fuck his ice spice, bro. <laughs> ice spice. This is ice spice. I know what I'm bro, doing. Bro, why you gotta pick ice spice? Don't pick ice spice. Pick somebody else. Spice spice, spice, bro. Pick Jane Jane Aiko. Oh, I, I wouldn't mind it. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> she won't see the light of day. <laughs> Joe, don't post that, bro. <laughs> it won't give me the Jason treatment. <laughs> We're kidding, people. We're just oh my jokes. god, just jokes. we are just comedians, jokes. bro. Just jokes. Just Fuck. jokes. Just jokes. She's the clone. She's not even real, bro. Exactly. Just jokes. Just All jokes. right, bro. Uh, let me. My my freaking tablet about to die. Fuck. Uh, I should got a charge. You got a charge on you? Nah, I got a charge. Man, For tough. once, I don't have a charger on me. Wow. I always keep that thing on me though. Interesting. Um, interesting concept. How the fuck do I? Wait, is it here? Oh, let me see. Let me see. Sorry, people, if this is being weird. I just need to. All right, bro. I got a question. Oh, go ahead. What cartoon show or movie had the best soundtrack or song? Ooh, that's a good question. 
Does it? Oh. Cold Yoko, Cold Yoko strong. Cold Yoko used to go stupid. You know Cold Yoko on Cartoon Network. That used to go stupid. Uh, if we doing TV, if we going shows first, it's one. It's only one right answer. Bro. Big Time Rush. I said cartoon. Oh, I think you said shows. Like like, like, like cartoon shows. shows is only one answer, bro. What? SpongeBob, bro. SpongeBob got bangers, bro. SpongeBob nah. has bangers. Timmy bro. Turner, Chip Skylark, that's Shiny Teeth, yeah. Twinkle, nah, that's 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 the stars in space. Nah, I'm Shiny Teeth, that bongo. Hello, high key, bro. Phineas and Ferb had bangers too. Ooh, nah, Phineas, Phineas and Ferb, Phineas and Ferb over SpongeBob. Bangers Phineas too, and Spur- bro. Phineas and Ferb over SpongeBob. Immediately. I don't know. SpongeBob had bangers, bro. Nah, not better than Phineas. Phineas and Ferb had a had a song every episode. They did, right? They said, the squirrels in my pants. The squirrels in my pants. If we're doing movies, though, I think Tarzan has the best soundtrack, bro. Tarzan's soundtrack is OD, bro. Moana? Nah, there's, there's, there's one. There's one I'm fucking missing. And I'm, I, it's pissing me off. Princess and the Frog soundtrack is OD, too, though. But How about Moana? You don't like Moana? I don't like Moana. It's shiny. Remember, I used to sing that shiny, shit in practice. Yeah. It's shiny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Damn. I'm bitch. so shiny. Damn. I used to sing that shit. I used to sing that shit all practice, bro. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. What? There's another one that's fire. Hold on. I'm not going to lie, bro. Tarzan. So- yo, I look. Yo, this is how, this how fire Tarzan soundtrack is, bro. It was a post talking about. How fire the soundtrack was! It made me watch the movie, bro. Just because the soundtrack was that hard, bro. Why? This it goes stupid, bro. Really? One word, one family. Trust your heart. Let faith decide. Uh, oh, that's Tarzan. That's Tarzan. That's Phil Collins, bro. Phil Collins jumped on on Tarzan soundtrack and was like, Hold "Watch on. me eat, bro." That might go stupid. I might go stupid. Hold on, I got. I'm or not like the people like me. That shit is hard, bro. Mm, hold on. I'm trying to think if there's anyone here. Nah, there's not really much here that that's looking crazy. Batman, no. Monsters, Inc. Like, I don't even know some of these shits had soundtracks. Nah, that, that, those are some good ones. I ain't gonna lie. Tarzan. Tarzan's number 28, actually. Oops. Tarzan's number 28? 28? Yeah, Frozen. They sleep. They sleep. I don't know if there's a soundtracks or just best anime movies in all time. But Frozen's up there too. They my our mental sync <laughs> conversation. If nothing one explanation. What was that? What was that first song? And I, let it go. Oh, that was a banger. Let it go. That shit OD. That's a banger. All right. So now if we could do cartoons. There's one that's stupid, but I can't think of it, bro. I I it's either between yo, hold on. What's that cartoon, bro? They used to have bangers, bro. Hold on. What's that cartoon, bro? What the f, bro? <laughs> How's it go? How's it go? I don't know, but it's like right there, bro. What is that cartoon? They used to have bangers every episode, bro. Fuck, bro. I'm, I'm yeah, yo. If y'all put in the comments if we're missing people, if we're missing some, because I'm really, I really want to know what, we're, which, what cartoon or or movie in your opinion, cartoon and movie. I want both, cartoon and movie soundtrack or songs had the best bangers, bro. Oh. Damn. I, I'm going with Tarzan and SpongeBob, bro. Those are good Princess ones. and the Frog. Is a, oh, I like Princess and the Frog. Those are good ones, bro. Those Princess and the Frog ones. had bangers, bro. Those are good ones. Fuck he me. said, the green is the green is the green you need. <laughs> and when I look into the mirror, it's the green that I see. That shit was hard. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, my God, bro. All right, bro. Um... Do you want to do a would you rather question or do you want me to tell what my last story of the day? Wait, what, wasn't we taking the quiz? Oh, yeah. That's at the end. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Uh, Don't worry, brother. Depends. What's the word? Uh, I got a, I got an urban legend because somebody, one of y'all asked for another urban legend. So I what got was a, my question? What? Did, didn't <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For me? I, asked that, I asked that after, oh, towards the end. Okay. With I, the real nigga quiz. I think I, rather, I want the would, would you rather question. You bro. want the would you rather? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me let me tell the story because the, the iPad is about to die. Okay. All right. So... Um, one of y'all, I put a poll on the IG asking y'all to give us some topics and things to talk about. And one of y'all said, I think, I think your name is Mo. Yeah, your name, hey. 
I know you, Mo. I play 2K with you, bro. Did you really? Yeah, I play. I, if it's the same Mo, I'm okay. just saying I play 2K. I think, most, I think it's Mo. Mo if I botched it, I'm sorry. I can't remember. Mo most hated. I Type shit. His name. So, he asked for more urban legends from cities, but I found an urban legend from Japan, which is kind of nuts. Take it, take it? Nah, <laughs> nah. So, the urban legend from Japan that I found is called the Red Room Browser. Have you I've heard, heard of her? I don't know the story though, but I've heard of it. Cause somebody was commented on it when on a Tekka Tekka video. Really? And I've seen it. I right, so basically the Red Room browser is basically a pop up about um. So the whole story goes is there was a bunch of kids in the early two thousands mm-hmm. in Japan that one kid was told by his two friends like to oh go look up this Red Room browser. It's a cursed browser, whatever. Very cursed browser. So he went back home and he did it, and it's basically a red door. Right, and every time he closes out, there's like words on top, and the wor- every time he closes out, the words get bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's like you can't leave it. And the words basically said the message was, it was, do you like the red room? Mm-hmm. And there was a list of kids on there, and at the top, it was his two friends that told him about it, and supposedly those two friends committed suicide; they killed themselves. Because they was also on the red room. Yeah. And the red room is supposedly cursed. And it's like, if you get on there, it's like, it makes you kill yourself. And you'll, like, it'll, like, possess you. And you'll put, like, you'll start putting blood around your walls, making your room red. Mm-hmm. Right? So, it was, like, a whole big urban legend and story for the kids. Like, to scare the kids down. Uh, to st- scare the kids in um Japan during the early 2000s. Because that's when the internet was kind of new. Yeah. And it was just something that went around, like a creepypasta or whatever. Yeah. Until in 2004, a little girl named... Hold on, what was her name before this shit died? Her name is Satomi. She was murdered by her classmate, who was 11, yeah. in school. And the girl was like... Like they was both in like the classroom by uh they was both in like a uh, classroom by themselves and I guess he she stabbed her yeah. killed her like and there was no motive I don't know if there was any motive behind why she killed her she was saying like she was bullying her online or whatever but when the cops went to her computer they found the red room browser on her computer yeah so people think that the red room was real and it possessed her to kill that girl. Oh, damn, that's, that's sick. That's why it was like really weird because it was like, why the hell she had the browser on? Yeah, and it's like, oh nah, is that that she possessed her or some shit to kill her? And like, like and she was just lying about it. And like, I think the girl ended up going like Jewy for like four or five years. That's sick, bro. It's just OD. And I don't know why that just reminded me of this because I don't know why. Did you hear this story? Well, did you? It happened recently. The hockey player that just got killed. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, that's sick, bro. It's really, I, I feel. Did you see the video? Mm-hmm. It was really sad. He did that on purpose, bro. <sighs> you know. I think he did that on purpose, bro. I don't think he did it on purpose. I think he did it as well. Oh, let me let me explain. So basically, people, if y'all don't know, there was a hockey player that passed away. Maybe like what two, three weeks ago. I think his name was Adam. Uh, Adam Johnson. Was it Adam Johnson? Something I think like it was that. Adam Johnson. It was like a it was like a hockey league in like Europe. It wasn't like the NHL, and he got hit in the neck by the by the blade by the blade and it killed him. On the thing, like he was bleeding out everywhere, but I don't think it was on purpose. I just think it was like a frustration. I thing. don't think he meant to kill him, but it was definitely out of frustration. And he just feel me. He I tweaked. Didn't, he tweaked. I didn't think right <sighs> because I watched it once. I don't want to watch it again because it was bad. I, I didn't I think a couple times because nah, you're crazy. Because <laughs> like that's not the first time that happened. Oh no, it happened before. But like and I that, thought that was the old video. I didn't know yeah. this is new. Uh huh. Like it I thought before and the nigga survived and came back. Oh really? I thought he died. I thought no, somebody else died. No, oh no, he came back. And so he came back. Oh, so maybe somebody else died. But. Because I remember I seen him. It was like he was holding his neck and he was bleeding out. Uh huh. But so what? I just seen the video. It just looked like he kicked him. But I just think it was like out of frustration. Like you know when, like say we get fouled, you just flail your arms and hit yeah. niggas. I feel like it was like that. But he wasn't intentionally trying to hit the nigga. Like he uh-huh. was just flailing just to make it seem bad. Yeah. And to get like a foul, whatever, and like or get that nigga kicked out of the game, and he like flailed his leg and like it but ended up hitting the nigga. What you doing, bro. Yeah, I know. He tweaked. He did you tweak. Got, he you, didn't... Got, you got skates on. You can't be flailing mm-hmm. like that, bro. Yeah, he, he did tweak. Man, you, you don't got shoes on. You got mm-hmm. blades, bro. Yeah, you got actual weapons on his arm. He like, killed him, bro. I felt bad because I heard his fiance was at the game yeah. watching the shit. That was really R. sad, R. bro. Johnson, bro. Yeah, RIP that man, bro. That shit, oh man, that shit's so sad, bro. R.I.P. Speaking of RIP, bro, what happened? What's going on with Joe Smith, bro? 
Can you remind me who Joe Smith is again? The number one. He was the number one overall draft pick from Detroit in 2000 and something. Mm-hmm. Forget the year. Maybe 19 something. Mm-hmm. Basketball, overall basketball. But he played 13 years in the NBA. You feel me? Married a porn star. Oh, yeah. Married a porn star. Thought he changed her. He turned, he turned a hoe into a housewife. Thought he changed, thought he changed her. Found out she had her OnlyFans, bro. Mm-hmm. So, was she making her OnlyFans with other dudes? No, she was making solo content. Yeah. But when he confronted her about it, he, she started recording. And was like, nigga, you know who I was, bro. Like, what you thought Like, what you thought Ooh. you was going to be, bro? Like, feel me? You wasn't making enough money, so I had to do what I had to do, bro. Feel me? Like, and he was he was, he was, was mad. <sighs> Divo- he, he, he divorced. He left her. And now she's now fucking she, baby alien. Yeah, now she on now she on the fan bus. Now she on the she on the camera on podcast giving him massages and shit. She she yo she See, now with that, right? I understand that that's a sad case. That's a very that's a cuz I understand, right? You know, you thought you love her outside of all that stuff. Like, I, that's why I said, you choose to love somebody. Uh-huh. You chose to love that girl. You have to deal with the consequences. Whatever happens, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You chose her. You chose to love her, even though you knew about all that stuff that she did. All right, you chose that. Now, what are you going to do with all this? Like, he did decide. He decided to leave. He left. But that is old. I mean, yeah. can you, you do think you can change a whole, make a whole housewife? Is that possible? I don't know. I don't think that's possible. I feel like for the right person, though, like, she won't be a hoe. Because I'm yeah. not going to lie, it's a lot of, feel me, like, people, I'd be like, damn, you got a you got a boyfriend now? Are you happy? <laughs> In my head, I'd be like, I know what you used to get into. I'd be like, damn, <laughs> you chilling now? You locked up? Hey. I'm happy for you, shorty. That's, but I'm like, damn, I know what you, like, feel me? He didn't even have to cuff her up. But that's like, what I'm saying. But it's like, do you think they will ever go back to the tendencies? I don't know, but I feel like I feel like the for the right nigga, I don't know, cause some some people some girls are just stubborn and be like I'm gonna do me whenever whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but for the right nigga, probably I think, think so? I think you can. I think you can. Think bro. so? I just think I don't know. I just don't think I don't know. I just don't think it's right for the. I mean, I'm, everybody it, everybody has a person for this. Just think about it, bro. She like. If she was a hoe, if she stops being a hoe, she gonna turn into like, like then now what? She can never get cuffed again, or she yeah, can't, that's what she I'm can't be happy because she used to be a hoe. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Or think about porn stars that are really married. Yeah, everybody, everybody do have their person. A porn stars that got kids, like yeah, me? Now that's she can't, true. She can't be loved because she used to be yeah. a hoe. Now that's that's not. I don't think so. Like I feel like everybody has their person, but I feel like it would be hard for other people. It would it obviously it's hard because like people people do a lot of things based off oh do it what this oh other niggas gonna think. That I married a porn star. I swear to God, bro. My one of my coaches. I'm not gonna say what grade. <laughs> I'm about to expose, bro. He, he he married a porn star, and we all knew. <laughs> he was like, "Nigga, we know who your wife is, bro." Wait, is she known? She uh, she she known if 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 you if you if she you black. Yeah, of course she black, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah, she known, bro. Like she she known ish. Let me say that she known ish. What I know, you might. We talk about this. All right, we talk about it after. <laughs> <laughs> talk about it after. Yeah, yeah. But you feel me? Like we, we, and we knew we was like, coach. What you doing? What you doing, bro? Ah. What you doing, bro? Okay, okay. Hey, See, you feel I, me? I just feel like you know, everybody has a person, but at the end of the day, you just got to move on from all that stuff. You can't change the past. Uh huh. Like, I, like you know, all them little podcasts they be saying like, you a man thinks about a woman's past and a woman thinks about a man's future. I don't give a fuck about all that. If you for you, if you for me, I'm for you. That's make saying. this work, who, my who nigga. Cares what, who cares? I don't care what you do. Who cares? Do, if you got Bukaki, bro. You with don't me tell now. me though. Yeah, I don't, don't tell me it. though. I don't want to see it, but like, feel me. Don't I, tell you me. You got Bukaki, cool. You, don't tell, don't me. tell me. Don't tell me. You're right, bro. I don't want to know nothing. I might, I might, but I'm the nigga. I'd be like, oh, like it would fuck me up. I'm like, damn. But I'm like, nah, don't, nah, nah. I, I might, I might want to know. Nah, I don't, I, you got 23 niggas come at you, come on you at once. I want to know that, bro. I got. That was my choice to live with it, but like, damn, that you, you nasty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, that's what I said. They, I don't know that for me, but thank God I found Jake, bro. Thank you, God, bro. Sure thank you, you thank you. We're, we're, <laughs> so you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't know. I do. But all right, bro. I got what? I don't know. This probably going to go. Wow, poor night. Ooh. Libby look like she's gonna kill us. 
You almost finished. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. That's all right. Um, all right, bro. So all the members' lives is at stake, right? Uh huh. Me, but we all have to. So all all of our lives is at stake, but me and you have to fight a creature that is more than our weight. Like a like a mythological. No, 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 no. Like an actual. Yeah, we both have to fight an animal. Okay. And kill an animal with our bare hands that uh-huh. weighs more than both of us. Okay. What animal are we picking? I'm picking a python. What? I'm picking. Let, let me talk. Let me let, let me speak, bro. If it's me and you, we could kill a python. Think about it, bro. Think about bro, it. What? Think about it. You, you, bro. You watch Animal Planet. You know I how did, to. Bro. You know how. You got, we grab you, them. Uh huh. Put them down. Gouge the eyes out. Yeah, but so is is always actively trying to attack us. Yeah. So what if it gets you? I gotta unravel it. No, no, no. Just, just ga- just break the eyes out. Poke his eyes and shove uh-huh. that shit through the brain. That shit's so graphic. I'm sorry, but you know what I mean. Like, just like, shit. I don't think a pi- I, don't, I don't think we we weight less than a python, bro. Python goes to three fifty. Oh, for real? Yeah. Okay. Three fifty. Maybe. I was gonna four. say a mountain lion. A mountain lion. I think we. I think Nigga, we, what? We, I think we killed. No, a we cannot. A mountain lion. Me and you, bro. A mountain lion. One of us dying. No, bro. At least if the python, we the can story, still live. I seen the story. The, the, this dude was getting attacked by a mountain lion and suffocated it, bro. Okay, the dude was like 6'5". No, he wasn't, bro. He was like 5'10". And he was a skinny, crawny white dude. But So you think we could do... But is a mountain lion really 350, though? There's no ma- a ma- so. But mountain lions are usually maybe like 200. Imagine a 350. Yeah, I don't think so. I didn't think about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I'm telling you, a python, bro. It, it's not going It's going to bite That shit going to hurt like shit But it's not going to like Scrape and like It's going to squeeze us But like We are We're grown men We can like We can like Like you know So if it squeezes you You're done I have to Like I will have to Unravel him for you Okay no, no, Fuck that No Gouge the eyes out We might got that You know what I'm saying The python Like, like everything else I feel like is mid Like what What other things is there Like, oh, no. like a, There's like a gorilla Like no, a wildebeest no, fucking a gorilla a wildebeest? Wildebeest? We got bare hands? Bare handed? No, bro. Our punch is going to do nothing to that wildebeest. Nigga, fuck bro. the punch. We going to suplex that nigga. What, what, what's, what wildebeest are we suplexing, <laughs> Darius? <laughs> nigga, do this Darius, tactic. Darius, do this. You got to run? Darius, let, let, let me, at the end of this, at the end of this <laughs> fact, let me, let, me, let me get back in the gym, bro, before you talk about me suplexing. <laughs> Look, bro. Sprint, run, grab neck, sheet. This nigga Darius think we superheroes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, low cut, cuz take his knees out. We good now. He, now he had a level. What if he kick you? <laughs> <laughs> he kick you, but bro, somebody gotta be the distraction. Somebody gotta be the clown, and then just low cut the nigga. I I, I like our chances with the python, bro. <laughs> <laughs> More than a wildebeest. Yeah, it's either a bro. python, wildebeest. Bro, the wildebeest killed Mufasa, bro. Nigga, there was like two hundred of them. So we still killed him. One <laughs> one wildebeest or American bison? Nah. Hell no. <laughs> Hell An elk, no. bro. You you underestimate them shits. Bro. I am because they eat. They, they don't yeah, eat bro. A, mo- a moose will kill us, bro. Oh, a moose? Nah, fuck that. Hell no. A moose? Will nah, kill hold us. on, hold on, hold on. Nah, we're dead. We're, I don't think that's possible. A moose, bro. A moose will kill us, bro. I could break his knees. Uh, not not a moose, bro. I can, nigga. If I'm, I fucking, I'm uh, Darius. I'm telling you right <laughs> now, bro. What? Do your homework on moose killing people, bro. Oh, all right, bro. Did <laughs> I hit him with the... Yeah. He, nigga, the, the he, two foot... He gonna hit you with the... <laughs> not, I'm not hitting him in the face. I'm going like the, yeah, the side shit, kick to the leg. That shit is not going to phase two, him, bro. Two foot... Two that foot... What is that? Gonna, bro, do you, have you seen a moose? I did. They're huge. That they shit, should. They don't look real. That shit is not going to phase him. He's going to look at that shit like, bro, why'd you do that? I'm going to kick his knees and he going to know. He's going to respect me, you, nigga. Why'd you do that, I'm the bro? top of the food chain, motherfucker. Yeah, then what happened when he charged at you back? <laughs> nigga, we could die. They can't really. They not agile, nigga. She, she. Yeah, you could tell Darius. <laughs> Darius don't know don't know what the moose is capable of. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Bruh. All right, man. You know, we can you we can try. If it's for all, all the niggas' lives, we got them, bro. I think... 
I like Derek's answer with the python. With the python better? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. We're doing the python. Or we could lose some weight so we could do the mountain lion. All right, type shit. <laughs> oh, I got another would you rather question. All right. So would you rather try to survive a Viking raid during the 1700s or survive in, Sa- in the Salem witch trials as a woman for one year? Yo, you know how much, how much thin... Like a thin line you gotta walk on as a woman in the Salem witch trials. I know you can't do nothing without them being like, nigga, you gotta bust it open, bro. Be like, please, <laughs> I swear I'm not. But I'm gonna be a woman in the when Vikings was just they was brutal, bro. Nah, they were crazy. They, they was, were brutal. They was raping. Bro. Oh shit, they were all wording the the people and freaking killing everybody yeah, just for saying. no reason. Yeah, I'm gonna do the woman, but I'm gonna just be the perfect wife for you. Oh yeah, bro. I'm be. Oh. Yes, sir. But that means you got you got you gotta do you sucking. I'm a girl, bro. S- I know, but like that's still you, cuz. <laughs> I ain't gay, bro. I'm a girl. <laughs> the switch happened, bro. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but that be damn. I'm man, a you, girl, bro. They get fucked, bro. I'm a girl, bro. I got the right parts for it. You got the right parts for it. Yeah, but I'm a girl, bro. Nigga, what if you like you come back you gay? No, nah, I can't, bro. Come back, <laughs> I'm not gonna come back with a with a. I'm gonna come back with a with my, but you my know parts, you, bro. Nah, but you understand where your G's by. So, so I'm gonna get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna transition now. Yeah, bro. I need it. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like you gotta really like imagine your your husband. He like yo bitch, make me my food, bitch, and start beating the fuck out of you. Bro, I gotta do that for a year, bro. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's true. I do that. I gotta do it for a year, bro. If, if nah, I, hold on, hold on. Bro. If you slap that nigga back, you a witch, bro. Facts. <laughs> hold on. What about Vikings? You just gotta run away. Nah, they gonna catch you. Gonna catch them you, them niggas is like the perfect human beings. That's what I'm saying. It was like bro. six, eight, six, nine, just, stocky as just, hell, bro. They, I heard arrows didn't do shit. Just mountain of men. They, bro. they used to get hit with arrows. They used to be like. Ah. Yeah, just get angrier, bro. Why'd you do that? <laughs> yeah, nah, I'm gonna be. Uh, What's your Thor's running at you, bro? But if they, but if you get accused once, you dead. You just gotta be perfect, bro. Like if you make his porridge wrong, he gonna kill you. you. Got to be perfect for a year, bro. Holy crap, that's so that's so much thin line, nigga. I don't want to get burnt at the stake or drowned, nigga. I heard they used to put motherfucker on like a a, a teeter totter and just put him in a lake. <laughs> sick, bro. Like, like, what the fuck? How the hell is that supposed to? That's what, sick, bro. What type of shit? They used to. Oh my god, they used to burn niggas at the stake, That's bro. That's sick, bro. Hey, nah, but I would rather yo, I would rather that than the the Salem. I rather that than the Vikings. But yo, imagine there was a Mookie Viking. That's what I'm, bro. Imagine there was a Mook Viking, he and just, he comes in and just he's like, all the men come here. Oh my gosh, there there had to be at least a couple. Nah, that's OD, bro. I mean, it was a couple of slave owners that used to just fuck the dude. I know, but like, I'm at the so now the Vikings. You just come and you kill. It killed your wife and kids. And now you get raped. Now you get raped. That's OD. That's OD. Bro. <laughs> like, you slaughtered my family. Now like, you gonna let me live? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, bro, slaughter me too, bro. But slaughter you, all right? <laughs> Yo, I'm going to destroy you, sir. <laughs> I'm going to destroy you. It's crazy. Nah, Vikings was a was a different breed of crazy, bro. Like, how did they? How, how do they not like live forever? Imagine there's still Vikings around now. Sure, Vikings with technology. Yeah, they called I- they called Irishmen. <laughs> no, those are the the Irishmen are short. That's the Scan- oh, those are the uh, the, what's they Vi- called? What's Scandinavians? The, what? Nor- Norway, Nordics. Yeah, Nor- Norway, Norway, yeah, 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 right? Norway, that's Norway. Vikings, Norway, right? Norway, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Norwe- Nor- uh, Norwegians and Nordic shit like that. Uh-huh. Okay, and I think like I think Greenland too, like around there, Greenland, Greenland, like Finland and shit like that. That's where most of the Vikings are. They, they probably, they definitely still around, bro. Scan, Scandinavia, the old Scandinavia, I think that's where it was. This but mountain of men just walking around with long beards. I know. Can I join them? I mean, if you have a beard. Sorry, buddy. And only the toughest of the tough, bro. Your little, longest beard don't, your, your beard's not long enough for bro, you. Bro, I trim my beard. Your, your, your beard's not going to grow long enough for yeah, you. Yeah, I trim my beard all your, the time, buddy. Beards come down here. You knock the thing out again, motherfucker. All right, boo boo Nigga, Corey just been just knocking this shit out all podcast, bro. I gotta get a new one. <laughs> all right, you're good. All right. I, oh, so you want me to ask, uh, ask you the question? I got, we got, Libby, I'm sorry. I got two more things, then we're done. I promise. Libby's gonna kill me. Mom, I'm sorry. It's not 1 a.m., it's 11.30. Don't check the don't check the phone. It should be like 11.30. Oh, shit. <laughs> God. <laughs> so, so, the, uh, when I posted on the poll again, somebody asked us a question. They was like, K- 
can Corey name ten languages except English or Spanish? Um. So, can you name ten languages that is not English or Spanish? Portuguese. Portuguese. Oh, you, 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 you. How do you say that, bro? <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> Mandarin. Mandarin. Um. Polish. Polish. Hold German. on. Take that. Take that one more time. Put it back in. Pause. Pause. All right, don't don't touch it. Okay, what am I said? Polish. Polish, yeah. Arabic. Arabic. Uh. Japanese. Japanese. Chinese. No, that is not. That's Mandarin. Oh, is it? Yeah. I don't think it is, but I'm gonna let you rock. I think it's Mandarin. Um, I don't think Chinese is a language. Well, I mean, I count that. Nah, we could we could we could be good. I think if I can't think of a tenth one, I'm counting it. Okay. Um Did you say cause I think you said one. I think you said German. I said German. I did say German. Six. Uh come on. I just bro, what's that? You're uh it's like in the top ten languages too. You're you uh oh, never mind, I can't think of the name. <laughs> <laughs> um what's that six? Yep. Uh Do you need four more? No, I do need four more. I'm going to get these four. Don't worry about it. Sorry, Livy. You're going to have to start cheating with me. You're going to start mouthing some languages <laughs> for me. Uh, Hebrew? Is that? No, that's not a language. I'm going to have to fact check that. I don't think it Libby, is. Livy, you can check if Hebrew is a language on your phone real quick. Go ahead. We'll go, we'll go back African? to African? That's not a language. Uh, <laughs> pat- patois? Patois. Patois. Okay, you going to give me that? Oh, um, Creole. Creole, okay. French, French, okay. Oh, uh-huh, that's that count. That you need one more. Uh, fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I need one more. What's an African language, bro? Nah. <laughs> fuck, what do UJ speak? <laughs> uh. You're missing a really big one. I'm missing a big one? Yeah, I'm missing a big one. A big one. That you know? Russian. Russian. <laughs> oh, I right. let that nigga know you ain't dumb, cuz. Fuck out of here, nigga. I know, I know them shits, You bro. know some shit. All right, bro. It doesn't right. help, too, that I literally watched it, like, like literally while I was in the bathroom waiting for you to come. To come. Pause. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> Yo. Oh, my God. What the wow. fuck? Wow, that was crazy. What the fuck? <laughs> Fuck. That was crazy. Wow. Oh my, bad. my god. My, my bad, bro. But I was literally watching a video. It was like, can you name the top ten languages in the world? Oh wow. <laughs> That's it was I, I literally watched that shit like five four hours ago. <laughs> okay, okay. Damn, bro. Alright. That was not bad. That's, That's why I was good. trying to name that Udon shit. I, I I fucking I just heard it. Ooh. Urdan, or Urdan, or some shit like that, bro. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know what it is. I was gonna say like Finnish or some shit. There's actually a guy that um, he was he messaged me on Italian, on Instagram. Ita- you could have said Italian, French. I said French. Yeah, there was a guy he messaged me. I think he was speaking in Dutch. Dutchian. Dutch. No, it was called Dutch. Uh huh. And it was like he um he asked me to ask us to do a pro- uh, a project for him, like do a conspiracy for his pro- uh-huh. a school project. And he was speaking to me in Dutch. I'd go to Google Translate and like send him shit back so he understands. Swahilian. Swahili. There you go. I think Swahili. There we go. I got some languages that. But, I got. I got you with thirteen. All right, bro. So, I got this one last thing. If you want, it's a, it's a, it's called the real nigga quiz. I'll take the real nigga quiz. Bro. All right, bro. If you get arrested for something that I did, are you snitching on me? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't do it. You ain't do it. Nah, I'm not snitching, bro. You bugging the fuck out. I'm you snitching on you. You know why I'm not you. snitching? You know why I'm not snitching? Why? Because I know I didn't do it. I'm gonna get off. So what if you don't? What if I know what is I the chance? What if, I know I it's a chance. I'm a chance. I'm what if play. you get a shitty judge? I know I didn't do it though, so I'm. It's, it's always gonna be a possibility for me to get off. I'm, I'm. I'm not snitching. Okay, but what if the judge just has a bad day? He's like, you know what? What if something crazy? Like you don't even know what it is. Like you murdered uh, an infant. 
but I clearly didn't do it. Yeah, so. you clearly didn't do it. But what if the nigga just just thinks it's you? I'm snitch. I'm not gonna lie. If you're not you're not my friend. If you don't come forward and say you did it, you're right. That's a, that's a, that's a so fact I'm snitching too. on you. But but you got 48 hours. But I I like my chance. I I didn't do it, so I'm like I right, bet. Like now, was I with you? Say you dropped me off. I might snitch. Type shit. Like come I might on. Snitch. Like what the fuck? I might snitch. Like I, and I gave you. I gave you my my hoodie or some shit. They thought you was the getaway driver. Whatever. I might snitch. Or you gave me your hoodie. I'm snitching. Hell yeah, bro. Hey, bro. That ain't a real nigga. That's just sm- a smart I'm nigga. Snitching, you know what I'm saying? Bro. I'm going right. kill that baby, bro. <laughs> All right, bro. If you about to get hit by a car, or if I was to get... If I was about to get hit by a car, would you push me out the way? But there's a 50 chance, 50% chance you'll die. <laughs> is, it a, is it a 100% chance you're going to die? No, is it like... <laughs> yes. Damn, bro. Why you didn't look across the road, bro? Fuck, <laughs> fuck nigga, bro. Would Damn. you save me? 50% chance I might die. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, Darius. I might not be saving you, bro. That's a that's a hard 50, bro. That's a hard 50. I ain't going to lie. Like. <laughs> I'll do that for Jay. Great, great answer. <laughs> I'll do that for Jay. I would definitely do that for Jay. Great answer. But for y'all, like in the, it has to be in the moment. It has like, to be in the moment. But if I'm consciously thinking about it, I'm not saving you. Bro. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Like you dumbass should look, bro. What the fuck, nigga? Fifty percent. That's even even odds. You might live. Yeah, even odds would die too. All right, nigga. That's do you flipping think, the coin. Yo, real niggas don't die, bro. Real niggas live forever, bro. That's flipping the coin. Real niggas live forever, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I should real niggas look before they cross the road too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, bro. If if I ever need a kidney transplant, would you give me your kidney? Yeah, I don't drink. Yeah, you got my kidney, bro. Okay. What if that comes back to bite you? You just get a pain. You just got a now pain in the side of your I'm li- like, yo, bro, give my shit back. Like bro. your back is like constantly hurting. Yo, like, you give just my gotta, shit back, bro. <laughs> like like my, your back constantly hurts. Yeah, give my kidney back then, bro. Oh, real nigga. All right, my fault, real <laughs> nigga. All right. If I go to prison and my bail is everything in your bank account, are you spending it on me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> ah. First of all, we live in Jersey, nigga. There's no bail, bro. You'd be out in two days. What if I was in Florida? No. Everything in your bank account? You sitting, bro. What the fuck? I promise you, you sitting, bro. <laughs> what you mean? You sitting, bro. Why? Is my bail 5K. You sitting, bro. <laughs> if that's what I got in my account, you sitting, bro. What the fuck? But you gonna give me your kidney? Yeah, how the bro. Fuck? How the fuck? That, how the fuck? How the fuck that shit correlate? You pay me back? <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. Fuck that, bro. Sit your ass in jail, the bro. Fuck you that too, nigga. I was, get, I was gonna do it anyway. <laughs> think about what you think about what you did, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's not my fault? Nigga, think about your consequences, bro. <laughs> what, if it, what if I got framed for, for something my friend did? Yo, think about the company you keep, bro. You start oh, hanging wow. around, start being around better niggas, bro. Wow. <laughs> you learn your fucking lesson, bro. Sit your ass in jail, home, bro. bro. <laughs> what if my what if it, what if is the first what is the first situation? Hey man, you gotta learn to wow. <laughs> sit your ass down, bro. All right, bro. You be out soon. Free my nigga in five, bro. <laughs> All right, bro. All right, man. You know, last question: If a poisonous poisonous snake bit me on my ass. Are you sucking the poison no. out? <laughs> I'm sorry, Darius. You dying, bro? What? Your butt cheek? My ass cheek? Like where at in your butt cheek? Like, <laughs> like on the like that shit bit me like, <laughs> in, like oh. in between the cheeks? Oh, you die! I swear to God, you dying, bro. I swear to God, you dying, bro. That shit gotta beat you like right here, like type of shit <laughs> towards the towards your thigh. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's like at the bridge, like? Like, the, like at the, like at the, at the tip of the crack, <laughs> oh. like right, like right at the top of your back. Damn, bro. Like right there, right before the butt crack start. Like right before the butt crack, start, oh. like right there, like Dude, on that tailbone, bro, right at the owe, tailbone. You have to owe me so much money, bro. You got first me? of all that shit don't fucking work, bro. <laughs> but <laughs> I got you, bro. You got me. No homo, but I got you, bro. All right, what what is on my what is my inner thigh? Nah, it's over, bro. You got him, bro. <laughs> Too, he's dying, bro. Call, call Jay, like, bro. Like, right? Like, <laughs> call Jay, bro. Hopefully, Jay get here on the time and you don't die, bro. Yo! <laughs> I ain't saving like, you, bro. Like, right here. 
Yeah, bro. Call Jay, bro. <laughs> That's too close to the meat, bro. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't want you to do that, bro. <laughs> Let like, me die, bro. I'm like, damn, bro. Just just make some jokes before I go. <laughs> like, damn, make bro. Sure, that make, nigga got you good, huh? I need, you know, all right, if that, God forbid, that's, that's the case. Huh? I knocked it out. No, you cool. Oh. God forbid, if that's the case, I'm going down. I need you to do three things for me. Uh-huh. One, I need you to call Jay. Uh-huh. I don't care where we at. Try to call Jay. My phone, your phone, figure out to get Jay. Uh-huh. Two, call my parents. Got you. Make a group, fa- no, make that group FaceTime. Group FaceTime. Make uh-huh. a group FaceTime. Two, when I die, close my eyes. Got you. And like, make sure I'm not in no stupid position. Oh, I got and three, at least joke around with me before I die. Let me yeah. la- die laughing with like, a smile yeah, on my bro, face. We in the rough predicament, bro. <laughs> <laughs> make sure I go down laughing. Like you between a heart, a rock and a hard place, my boy. What you gonna do? And then put me in a rock and a hard place. <laughs> Dude, do that. That's what. I, that's all I need, bro. Have you heard of the 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 boom sling snake? A, 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 oh yeah, no. That when you told me about it. No, not the not not the hoop snake, the boom sling snake. The fuck is that? That shit, uh, that the shit bites you and like, you're like it's guaranteeing death. You bleed from every hole you have in your body, bro. An African snake called a boom sling, bro. See, this is the shit it I'm bites talking about. You and every hole from that like, you start bleeding from every hole Even in your body. Even my peen. Every hole in your body. See, that's what I'm, this is the shit I'm talking about. There's shit like that that I never knew about, but they don't teach us this in school. But they teach me about Burmese and, and Vipers and shit. Nigga, teach me about the that shit. sling, bro. Is that shit new or something? No, bro. Blood come out your eyes, your nose, your mouth. Every hole in your body, that shit starts coming out. That's of, bro. OD. I'm not going to lie. Like, and yo, it's, snakes. It's guaranteed are, death, bro. Snakes are low-key, like, OP. And it's a nigga that has it as a pet in his crib right now, bro. Where? I don't know. His name is Chandler. Yeah, I'm not. Chandler's <laughs> weird. Chandler, you're fucking weird if you're watching this shit. You like even yo, you ever seen that snake that like his tail is like a a rat? A rat? You know, it's a it's a, it's a uh a bug, a spider. Yeah, spider tail. It's a spider, snake. and it, and he is it's called a, a spider a spider tailed snake. Oh, it's, uh, it's, no, a spider tailed viper. Yeah, and it moves his tail around. Mm-hmm. Like, you you in disgust? Look at that. <laughs> it moves his tail around. Yeah, and. And like, like it attracts birds for a bird, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's that's they op as fuck. Let's say that's that's liq. That's wiq. I mean, that's crazy. No, that's crazy. Natural selection, my nigga. You tell me Atlantis, there's no Atlanteans, but you got shit like that. Come on, nigga, do your homework. Boom slang snake, bro. That's od. Niggas, niggas do work. But you got anything else you want to talk about? Got one, one more thing, Livy. I'm sorry. One more, one sorry, last Libby. thing. I promise. Oh, we live in these fictional. What fictional realm? But do you think you could live? The most comfortable in okay, Game of Thrones, mm-hmm. The Boys. Mm-hmm. What was the last one I said? I gotta repeat my question. Fuck. I think it was Walking Dead. I right. I right, go ahead. What fictional realm do uh-huh. you think we could live the most comfortable in? Uh huh. Game of Thrones, The Boys, or The Walking Dead? Mm. I love The Boys. Pause. Damn, this, this is a crazy so episode. So crazy. What? This is a crazy episode. That's what you love? You love the boys? I said pause. <laughs> but I think I'm going to pick. Oh, I know what episode you're thinking about, too. I thought you said that's a, th- I thought you said that's a crazy episode. Uh, no, this is a crazy episode. Uh, you're weird. No, I think I'm picking the boys just because of how much normal it is. And it's not really too like different from my life. I just have to worry about superheroes doing me dirty. That's what I'm think, think about how the A-Train did Shorty in the first episode. That shit was OD. I'm not going to lie. That shit was OD. That can happen, bro. That's what I'm saying. In that realm. And like, but like, you know, like Jay could be a superhero. She could save me. Yeah, but what is she not? Like, like I'll be, I'll be like, what's his name? Huey? Yeah. I'll be Huey. And he'll be like, she'll be like Starlight. Or she could be like the bitch that got blown into blitz with her hands in your in your hand still, oh, no, I, yeah. it, it, hey, bro, I just feel like I can live my. I just have to look. I just have to be careful and like not expect niggas to save me. On flights, I gotta make sure I'm not with a like a very important person. Like, I wouldn't be friends with like the important people because uh-huh. like you know they can like take that plane Home down. Homelander, Homelander gonna cut that bitch in half. First of all, I, I'm not doing the boy just off of Homelander alone, bro. Why? Homelander is the most terrifying, but yet charismatic. charismatic character of all time bro and i and it, and it terrifies me because i like i see that like, if i see the actor i'll be scared that's how well he plays that fucking role nah, he does if i job. see the actor i'll be like 
Like you could kill me. Did right you now. see the video of the uh, cast? It was like who's the most like their character, and everybody pointed to Homelander. That's terrifying. That if is he's bad. the most like his character, yeah, because really he's bad. OD, bro. Yeah, that is kind of so, pretty bad. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm gonna do Game of Thrones. But Game of Thrones is basically just like knights and warlocks, right? What if you're a fucking a shepherd? I'm not gonna be a shepherd. What are you gonna be? I'm gonna be a king. Are you really gonna be a I'm king? Gonna be the, I'm gonna be the Lord of the North. No. Are you really gonna be the king? Lord, nope. I'm gonna be. A, I'm gonna be the warden of the North. So you're gonna be like the jailer. I'm gonna be like Jon Snow. Or Robert. Oh, or oh, pre, pre oh. Jon Snow. Oh, oh, no, wow, I'm, you're evil. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do you want to be that? Jon Snow's good, bro. I mean, we don't know the movie didn't come out yet. Were you talking about John? You talking about from Hunger Games? No, bro. I'm talking about from Game of Thrones. <laughs> Fuck! I thought you meant Jon Snow. John Snow from Game of Thrones. <laughs> Edit that part out. I know you didn't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving it in. Pause. God. Oh, no. But I'm just saying, look. This nigga said what? You but it, leave it in? No, but, yo. Why you keep repeating it? Yo. Hey, yo. But like, Game of Thrones, isn't there like monsters? There's White Walkers. Okay. But John Snow like bodied them niggas. But that's not you. You're you. But I'm going to train to be like John. Like, I'm See, gonna, look, you got to train. I'm going to be my normal life. No, I'm still going to be doing this podcast. I'm about to interview A-Train and motherfucking And, and Homeland is going to kill you for for interviewing him for whatever reason. I'm not going to interview Homeland. I'm going yeah, to interview He's going to kill you for not interviewing him. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to interview. I'm going to. Public interviews at the fucking campus in Gen V. I'm up. You haven't watched. You haven't finished. You just start yeah, watching yeah, Gen V. Watching you, you'll know why. Nigga, we up, bro. No regulars on no regulars. Gen V. Or oh, bro, look at all the bad bitches in Game of Thrones, bro. Khaleesi. Bro, if Jay not there, I don't want it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's so gay, bro. <laughs> if Jay ain't there, I don't want that shit, nigga. Bro, I'm going Game of Thrones, bro. Bro, I'm going, but the boys, I'm cool. I, wanna, they, I, I might, wanna, I might get the 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 wanna, the V compound. I want to fly a dragon. I might be. I might fly a dragon. Nigga, you gonna fucking die? It's not arc. The fuck? You go tame a dragon, nigga? <laughs> yeah. No, you're not. You're not a dragon it tamer. It is art, bro. No, it's not. I'm picking I'm picking the boys. I'm not picking The Walking Dead because, first of all, I don't want Realistically, wanna... I'm picking the boys, though. Realistically. But I would just love to be in Game of Thrones. Niggas just want to be there for the bad bitches and the Nordic food. But. Yeah, and the mutton. It's the boys, bro. And I'm finding some of that compound V, and I'm turning myself into a superhero. Nah, I'm not going to do it because I heard, didn't, like, doesn't that shit wear off? No, that's. Temp V. Temp V. When We're getting that compound. That thing was going stupid. Butcher was going retarded. Butcher was bro. OD. That was... I got to rewatch that shit again, bro. I got finished Gen V. I'm mad as fuck. Gen you got to love Gen V, bro. It's fire. I'm going to watch it now. It's just fire. It's just fire. I, I watched wasn't going to watch it. I was so mad. I wasn't going to finish it, but I'm I was so it. mad. I finished that shit in like a day, bro. When I was editing. Like like one night, I just started like watching I'm it. I'm going to show you why he's Chris Fire. <laughs> Fucking loser. <laughs> yeah, you know, the last time he was on, he was started watching Everybody He's Chris. Now he finished. But... Yeah, watch Invincible too. I don't know if you're watching. Oh, Invincible. I watched one episode. The did you watch any episodes like before that? Nope. Did you like you're on season one? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, watch that. You're gonna like that shit. I see he's in Mortal Kombat right now. You said you see it as Mortal Kombat. He's in Mortal Kombat. Like he's as yeah, yeah, yeah. Omni Man. Yeah, you'll see Omni Man. If you think if you think Homeland is bad, Omni Man's OD. I always thought I kind of thought they was related. Like before I watching the yeah. boys, I thought they was like kind of. Ah, they're like they're the same type of people. Like they're both like. Like, like, say Omni Man, Omni Man, and Homelander. If they combine, they'll be evil Superman. Okay. Because some of Omni Man's powers is not like what uh, Homelander has. Homelander's so crazy, bro. Yeah, like Omni Man don't got the laser eyes and shit. Homelander is basically Superman. He is basically evil, but evil, Superman. evil Superman. Yo, The Boys is a genius show. One of the greatest shows ever. It I'm is, bro. Okay, they parrot, they parrot, parrot, parody. Parody superheroes, not even parody. That they're, they're but they made it serious though. They made it serious and they made it like if superheroes were real, like, that's like exactly how it would be. Like cops, like corrupt cops, bro. Mm-hmm, that's how it be, nigga. This shit all it's all about the money, mm-hmm. nigga. Oh, there was remember in the beginning episodes, niggas was trading. They was like, yo, I'm a, I'll give you this superhero yeah. for four hundred thousand dollars or four hundred million. He's like, no, nah, I don't want that. I right, bet. She cut your plane in half. After your son said, after I signed your son's freaking autograph and shit, you remember that? Yeah, bro. it was like it was like Atlanta or something. Oh, it was mm-hmm. like it was like the Middle East, and he's like, now nah, we about to give him to Atlanta. That's just uh-huh. OD. But let, let, let's end the pop, let's end the pop before Libby yeah, kills Libby's me, bro. Mad. But, yo, thank you again, bro. Attitude. Libby is about to turn eighteen, or she's eighteen. She's about to turn nineteen. But there's no way. 
<laughs> Libby, thank you again. And thank you, bro. Thank you for playing for another podcast. This is a good thank pod. You. And thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode 114. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below, all that stuff. More content is flooding in like the Hoover Dam was destroyed, bro. More t- content is coming in December and this week. Tune in for that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, follow our social, follow Corey down below if you want more stuff like this. If you want more content, let us know what type of content we want. We're going we're gonna to start doing more polls on the Instagram so we can talk to you guys more if you guys want more topics just like we talked about and things of that nature. And yeah, you got anything else? Any last words? Gangsta. We're different than no records, man. Gangsta. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.